Thank Welcome you. to the Friendly Jimmy's podcast. This fine. I'm just gonna go with autumn. Are we in no, autumn. It's winter. Winter. This fine winter's day. Uh, June. I think we're in. Look, I'm not the best to. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a freaking Google Calendar. The point is, if you're here. The standard. Where has the year gone? Eh? That's right. If you That's noticed, it, doesn't it? I've been it fired does. from um, my techie job. Miss loves the new tech now. We How you feeling, buddy? Pff, don't pff, need pff, no pff, alley. Pff. We're good, man. Uh, that camera looks a bit hectic, but that's a bit fun, isn't it? You no, know, that one's... I'll does. just put it in focus one sec. You oh. always should have been the techie. You're constantly wearing a hat. <laughs> Is that enough to be a techie? Course. I don't think you need a qualification for that. <laughs> You're kind of right. That is actually. your border mortar thing that you wear at the end. So it's just what? like, you know, the congratulations, oh, you Miss it, you Love. You're it. now a tech ah. because you put a cap on your head. There you go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> throw it in the air. <laughs> what oh. is a, a techie's job is just like. It's funny how the you know you can't hear shit. You can't hear shit. Oh, maybe you're the one that haven't hasn't got a uh, hasn't been. Uh, Anyways, I don't think know. we need it. But welcome to the Friendly Geordies pre-show. Uh, welcome. Yeah, yeah, welcome, y'all. You oh, got headphones there if you want them, by the way. Oh, keep not, this. Yeah, also, was, miss, keep this camera on a minimum because the exposure is too in. high. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to stick one. To, yeah, stick to two and two. That's. Or should it. I say That's Tom? It. Yes, you should. Camera Tom. Camera Tom. She's here in spirit. Uh, I'm gonna log into Twitch. Wait, myself. why does two Hopefully look so when we're old enough? Go. On. Hey, dude, someone actually put up a meme. The yeah. meme hat. Did you see that? Yeah, the yeah, face mask yeah. one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh-huh. They had me. Did you saw that meme? But explain to the rest. It was the, the funniest game. meme ever. It was me wearing a face mask as before and then Tong as after. What a face mask does to you. Yes. It's so good. Just two very different <laughs> looking two people. Two short hours. <laughs> um, Ali noticed me also. I've noticed you, Pebro3838. Do you have any questions for the pre-show, though? That's for you if you want to use it. It's not really working, but why not? Um, yeah, pre-show. Dan Andrews is legit. <laughs> have you? Did you know that? That's did, a contribution did today. You, did you know that? Well, thank you for that. The manliest you know man it? says Who is it. Dan Andrews? Isn't it Dave, Dave Andrews? Andrews. Oh, yeah, Dave you Andrews. You screwed that up, whoever wrote that. It's Dave Andrews, but, you know, thanks for playing anyway. And that's why you come here, to get educated exactly. about politics. When's he coming back? From the techie. That's right. Mm-hmm. I think he's slacking a little bit. When's he coming back? Where's he been? What do you mean? His term's almost over. <laughs> Are you serious? No, I'm not. But he's no? been... No, he's... <laughs> no, no, no. Why would you lie about that? Uh, because he's been on uh, medical leave... Because he has a few broken ribs. Wuss. Wuss. Uh, but no, it's true. He's sitting down anyway, as if he can't shuffle papers. Because Victoria is in a crisis once again. And he's taken up a bed for shame. Hey, we're doing Sky News' job for her. <laughs> hey, I've got a question. I love labor and everything, but why does Victoria keep fucking up with this COVID shit? Well, if you go to Victoria, you'll understand why. Victoria has an attitude that I think Australia had in the 70s. Right. Lord of public servants not doing much. <laughs> That's the great thing about having saying- liberals in. Just all these public servants kept on their toes, overworked, never getting to see their kids. Wait, are you, yeah. does that mean they're too relaxed so they let COVID seep through? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. There's just something very laid back about a place that the slogan of the state, I think, is the place to be. And so I think everybody kind of treats it as a holiday, despite the fact that that weather is not holiday destination. I Mm. don't know why they do that. I mean, people. But I swear that it's just a cultural thing. That's my hypothesis about it. That's what I'm sure that there's an actual explanation for it. That we've just you know done up two minutes of the pre-show, haven't we? (laughs) (laughs) That's not what we're here for. We're here for gross generalizations. Thank you very much. That's as good as any explanation because I don't understand why it keeps breaking. Maybe because it's colder. I don't know. COVID is supposed to be more... Likes the cold. So it likes the cold. The Wim Hof of viruses. <laughs> uh, but, you're, but are you saying, Ali, are you COVID like- keeps spreading through air ducts. But my point is, we've got... The Why is there so many air ducts there? Yeah, well, I'd swear it would the be AC. windy enough. The AC. It'd be the AC, surely. Well, I don't know. But we have the AC in New South Wales, too. It's not like we live in... <laughs> we still live in the 70s and we don't have any ACs. True. Hey... 
Harley's onto a point here. No, I, here's here's my point. That's it, I'm switching my allegiances. Gladys Berejiklian. That's what I was going to say. Gladys is doing a good Gladys job. Gladys is she, doing she a She even gave herself a handicap with the Ruby Princess. She's still killing it. <laughs> she's still... Good well, the Ruby Princess killed, but yeah. she's no killing it. No pun intended. <laughs> Both of them are killing it. Go yeah, someone it. is saying they the even have Ace and the princess of New South Wales. How good would it be if someone um just logged into the Twitch now and we're like, Gladys Berry Jukulin is awesome. She's doing a great job. And there's no like yeah, no yeah, no, I know the media is too cowardly to say <laughs> this. <laughs> but here's here's an update. Apparently we need to blame Sri Lankans. <laughs> Ah, uh, fair enough. Because Finally, some, some Sri Lankan truth. brought it over from India, or I don't know, wherever. What, again? How many? Uh, I'm sure what? getting over this virus. It was show 2019. It wasn't even in existence 20, in 2019. 20, whatever, I'm over it. Yeah, well, all of us are. If it was a dress, it would be so out of fashion by now. Just saying. <laughs> Hate to play devil's advocate, but it's kind of getting boring, dude. That's my take to nature. That's my message to Mother Nature. Okay, right, okay. Here we, <laughs> yeah, you tell them, Miss. Here we've got we've got that's one for question. Giving us an atmosphere that's breathable. Hey, I, I want to go to space. Screw the atmosphere. I reckon you'd be fine in there as well. You probably wouldn't even need to breathe. No, I reckon if you felt Miss Love's heart, they'd be like, "Are you dead?" Oh no, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just super irregular. Here we've got one question. <laughs> Lit boy Daddy Do is asking, Jordan Ali Miss Love, it looks to me like Scomo is going to run his election campaign on national security. What do you guys think? Good move. Good move. Finally. But like we've we haven't been attacked. No, no we've been being attacked by China. What are you talking about? Oh, that's true. Any Always. second now. Yeah. And that's why he needs to buy you know, uh, weapons that were used in Operation Desert Storm. He'll win that. That's the nostalgia factor. Old, defunct ne- uh, ships from France. Yeah, no, 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 no. And imaginary as well. Oh. Not just out of date, also non-existent. That old chestnut. Jesus. And I, uh, well, hey, the key to winning a war is the element of surprise. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a magician. He's basically that David Blaine guy. That's what he's going for. Yeah, I think they so. Might, they and might appear somewhere and then boom. That's actually a really good... You know what I hear is a thing that the Labor Party is always complaining about with both Gladys Berejiklian and Scott Morrison mm. is that they're both like water. They've read Lao Tzu and they've ingested it. Wow. They just... Anything that you try and stick them on, they move instantly. They, they do a really good marketing job right. on it to just gloss it over and they've got the press to help them out with that. But they've also, mm. say with this, for instance, Chris Minns, first thing that he did when he became leader mm-hmm. was try and win the church vote, which would be just amazing if they got that. Can you imagine if Labor got the churches like it was the 50s? I was going to say, once upon a That's time... That's a winning combination. Once upon a time, that, would, that, was, the, that was the thing. Now you've got to win a hill song. Yeah, Man, that's let's be honest, off. that's not going to be happening because Scott Morrison's the guy Sebastian of Prime Ministers. Uh, He's <laughs> one of their own. Yeah. God, isn't it amazing that the election is sort of like voting in Australian Idol? <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly <laughs> like voting ballot. for Australian Idol. It is, isn't it? Dom Kang is asking, are you, are you still part of DM25? Well, it's interesting you ask that. Yes, I am, but they seem Does to be... Does that party exist at all? Well, wait, let's just Warhammer say thing. that <laughs> their u- even their YouTube count isn't surpassing the tens of thousands. When I say tens of thousands, I really just mean twenty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, What's but it called? Man. DM twenty five. Is it like? Is there policy to like up people's DMs? <laughs> is there thing to sort <laughs> well, of just they're like failing at that too? Twenty five minimum. <laughs> That's no. the goal. <laughs> it's, That's no, it's the like, changes it's to like the some, European Union bureaucracy. It's some really vague like idea of like trying to uh, improve you know mental health in youth it's like dm yeah, yes, at least I would 25 be... tell your friend that uh, are you okay and I... then and then also for, for us hey we, <laughs> it's like what are else you are... making fun of mental health over here yeah just low key well, whatever let's just be switch. honest that's well, most of the jokes <laughs> that miss love writes for me, yeah but i have to cut but, out three quarters of his scripts but in his defense he can make worth jokes about penny. it worth every penny just like i can make jokes about being packy miss love can make jokes about having mental, mental health, health. He's hey got he's quite slow. nostalgic <laughs> he's, no he's just retarded he's just hey retarded. Oh, okay right <laughs> you made fun of me uh point is 
Stick to the uh, car park. A DM25 is a bunch of lefties. Video. No, well, yes, but that's not it. Actually, today, just I'm um, funny you asked that. Today, I was watching a YouTube interview or a debate between Yanis Varoufakis and who's the guy who wrote uh, Strange Death of uh, Strange Death of Europe? Uh, Douglas, Douglas Murray? Murray. Yeah. Yes, I saw them go head to head, and they agreed on almost everything. No. Except for immigrants. <laughs> well, what, what else? Is, what is there what anything else, else that that man they, talks yeah, about? Yeah, what the it hell? does. They both hate uh, the Eurozone. They both hate European Union. They were very similar people and they seem really cordial. It was like, um, have you seen Russell Brand do an interview with um, Jordan Doug. Peterson? Yes. Great minds think alike. That's what we're learning here. It was, <laughs> it was a bit like that. Except Yanis was not nearly as eccentric as Russell Brand is. But, you, dude, you would... Eccentric. Dude, it's the, the hair that does it. The only thing he's eccentric, the only thing that makes him eccentric is his chimney sweep accent. Like, he's the last one with that accent. So, like, you want a, you know, your pie. Dude. Yeah, you're Do you think right. he's hot? Russell Brand? Yeah. No. Well, I think Brendan Burns sums it up well, which is that if chlamydia was a person... <laughs> <laughs> That's too easy. Is that fair? The fair, too easy. but too easy. Well, what would you say? Why? It goes to be a hard disease, does it? AIDS personified. He's not sickly enough. Well, he can't he's be. He's quite a healthy, robust man. He can't. He kind of looks like you. It, he's a walking STD. <laughs> but he, uh, but you know what? He's changed. He's a reformed man. He's a family man. He's got two kids and a very loving wife. He has kids. Yes, and uh, he regrets. Apparently, he was very mean to Katie, and he admits that now. What? Uh, a, well, I, let's be honest. Someone had to be mean to her. I thought it was Katie that <laughs> yeah, was... Yeah, she shaved her head because of you. I think it's too late. Yeah, you, you've got a lot to apologize for. But the fact that you're such a hippie, I imagine that your two kids are named Moon and Sun. <laughs> and that's enough for me. I don't you're, know you're what okay their names are. You're okay with me are. now, Russell. Still better than Elon Musk's kid's name, who still no one knows what yeah. it is. It's, oh, it's like an artist formerly known as Prince thing, is it? It's, it starts with X. That's what I know. It's like X100011. It's like a code. No. You didn't know this? The daughter's... Is, oh, I guess it's the daughter's name is like a code. But then I think like legally, the uh, the state of California or whatever was like, you can't do that. That's... That's a dangerous path, you know, like how are we going to get the tax information? It'll be a nightmare. We'll think it's a glitch. So I think that, I think they're just kind of like still going with it. I don't know. They're above the law. Come on. They have so much money. They're like, we'll make our own country. Yeah, true. And also by now, surely. If anyone should be calling it that, it's him. He, you know how most people are disappointed, say, if they don't get a boy or a girl, I bet you he's disappointed that his child wasn't an electric car. He's just trying to get it there as close as he possibly can. Everything to him has to be a robot, doesn't yeah, it? Like, yeah. it? Other than that, that just won't do. Yeah, I think I think that's pretty conclusive. Why else would you date Grimes? I'm, oh, I'm yeah, still yeah. to this day, I'm not sure if she's a computer programmer. <laughs> An anime. Which he made. <laughs> Which he made. Can you imagine that? Just like in the hills of Montreal... He's just a young Elon Musk, kind of like James Bond coming down from the snowy hills and then just putting some sort of contraption and just like <sighs> putting it in the snow of a mountain, just like beep, beep, beep. And then be like, I'll see you in 20 years. And then just leaves like beep. Have you guys- Grimes grows <laughs> out of some mountain. Have you guys seen that low budget uh, teen, basically a porn movie before porn was widely available? Uh, pretty cool too. <laughs> No, but it doesn't surprise me that you've seen it. I have. <laughs> I have. Me neither. And I, I have vigorously masturbated oh. to it as well. Yeah. It's good to uh, it, is it? But it was basically just that. The, really? the plot was two nerds build a computer program. Yeah. And the computer program makes the hottest woman in the world. <laughs> oh, and she uh, became an actress? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Well, she couldn't but even she become an actress unusual. after appearing in that movie. Oh, ah, right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Damn. And two, the kiss of death. if you're going to look it up, if you think uh, Pretty Cool 2 is spelled T-W-O, you are wrong. It is spelled T-O-O. Oh, right. Pretty Cool Shit. 2. I uh, will be Googling knowledge. that. Like, that is hilarious. That is yes, a is. very low budget, but still. You know what still- else is hilarious? Sandy, my booking manager, who's addicted to this podcast, and I have no idea Isn't why. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Because she 
really just watches it to see the exact point where my career goes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And sure. pinpoint yeah. that is where his career. Wait, wait I've got to see this because we were a bit late. Where the fuck are you, fucks? <laughs> Yeah. There's a reason well, we're here now. Sandy there's has now figured out a way to communicate with Jimmy over here. Yeah, there's a reason she's got the job. I'll tell you that much. Hey, I've got a question. Abuse. Uh, yeah. Well, come on, that's part of the course. In boring this, girl uh, has in asked me, "What are your origins uh, predictions? Origin. Origins. State of origin. State of, yeah. Good question, Jordan. That, Considering I've never seen an NRL match, but here's but. here's here's my wise understanding of Australian culture. Go it on. took me a few years to understand this. One of them is one of them is that uh, Australians don't necessarily like heaps of foreigners. It took me a while to get that. <laughs> Second, uh, anything with woodworking, Tasmania's gonna win, mm -hmm. and anything with footy, Queensland's gonna win. You're right. Queensland is Respond the on. Liberal Party of footy. Yeah. Every time. Although last last year, I think the Blues. Yeah, won but it. like you look at their Sometimes history. Sometimes Labor wins. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly like that. Yeah, you look at their true. history, and yeah, like they might have won in 2017 and 18 twice, but then you go every year before that. You're actually completely it's right. It's just Queensland, the Sunshine you're, State. You're actually completely right. Though. So that's my prediction. I think yeah. it was when they changed to that Canberra Raiders player that I remember. He was a big shot when I liked NRL very briefly from about six to six and a half, I think I was. <laughs> wow, and he was the, the guy. Wolf. And like even back then I was squinting at him being like, are you sure you're a footy player? Aren't, aren't you a character in Wogs Out of Work? <laughs> Do you know the guy I'm talking about? He no, I like don't. I don't. But I don't know what his name is, but his name should be Yanni. You're not being very- Wait, the guy who now hosts uh, Millionaire Hot Seat? Eddie McGuire. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Wait, that most way he's man on what? <laughs> Maguire. <laughs> also, he didn't play NRL. He's just somehow involved in the AFL now. He's got nothing to do with the NRL. Well, Jesus he's got nothing Arlen. to do with anything now. Didn't he get into trouble for something recently? Oh, I don't even know. That was okay. My no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, runs in the family. No. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always in trouble with the law. What a bandit. And he got into trouble for something too recently. He was uh, in deep shit. No, he was. I think he did something. Or, you know, I don't know. I, I honestly am not sure. And I'm not going to... Oh, yeah. Collingwood Club. That's where he's from, right? Apparently, there's a lot of uh, problematic environment oh, in the club, and he was right. dismissive about it. I think racist stuff. Yeah. Well, and now he's in hot water? Not anymore. He had to, like, apologize. Look, well, you know, I don't think that man needs to apologize for anything because that man is more Channel 9 than the Channel 9 logo. He should, he's above the law. He should apologize... For everything. <laughs> he should apologize for being born, I reckon. <laughs> Wait, that's harsh. Uh, Isn't he a national a treasure? Supporter, are you? <laughs> <laughs> a Swanee supporter. Systematic uh, racism, yes. Are you a Swanee supporter? I mean, you know. And Ali's a GWS supporter. GWS? What is that? Greater Western Sydney Giants. Oh, no, no. Fuck. I support um, Rabbitohs. Because I also like Gladiator. Wrong game, code. Wrong uh, game, but uh, oh, okay. I like. Got a lot to learn still, Ali. And what you like the Rabbitohs because no, of the ones Crow. that wear like um, you know WWE referee shirts, the 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 prisoner jersey. You thinking of the Ninja Turtles movie? No, I'm thinking of the guys that wear like you know white stripes, black stripes, white stripes, black stripes. That's probably That's the NFL. NFL. Yeah. Oh, NFL. Is no, <laughs> no. Jesus Christ. AFL. AFL. We all need Jordan's chair. Uh, look, you're thinking of the AFL and the. Rabbitohs are NRL team. So who do you support? Collingwood. Them? Collingwood. That's them. That's uh, who you support, right? Okay. Yes. Why? I just like that jersey. I think it's it suits them. That is. Hey, a it's the same reason I supported the Canberra Raiders. So. <laughs> well, it's good enough for a six year old. Oh, it's God. good enough for a man hurtling towards his thirties. Jesus Christ! I don't mind the Raiders though, so I'll, I'll let that pass. That is. You don't mind it? No. Nah. That's the other thing as well. It's just like I like wow, the Raiders. Uh, there's actually. two mysteries on earth: who supports the Roosters and who supports the Canberra Raiders. It's a town full of bureaucrats. Do they even know what That's NRL true. is? That's true. I mean, there's a lot of. I think it's just like the prototype to the NDIA. Sure. Well, there's a lot, there's a lot of fans of the of the Raiders in Canberra, but because they're from Canberra, that you know, their their energy levels are not really hitting even 50%. So even if there's like home games that the Raiders are playing, I think they're like, oh, just watch it on TV. How's my weed plant going? <laughs> Watering their weed plant. Are you are you actually into footy? Have you ever have you ever watched a full match? Are you talking about NRL or AFL? Uh, either. 
Well, I went to the footy like two weeks ago. So. Dang. He's an artist. He's a true Australian. I'm getting Little called out in the know. comments. They're yeah. saying he's a fake Australian. Get him, get him. Yeah, I mean, right, look, right, right, I, right. I, I second that. Oh, uh, but like, <laughs> but here, we've got a question. Susan Kiefel is asking Jordan this question. What are your thoughts on Bob Santa Maria? Is the Labour Party better or worse from the split? Question mark. Way worse. Way, 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 way worse. First question. Who's Bob Santa Maria? Yeah, yeah. Is that a footy player? <laughs> is that a footy player? AFL or NRL? <laughs> <laughs> I just learned, I, I had to read up on Chris Minns. By the way, I like his background. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> because I've learned something about you, Ali. Despite my incessant ABC bashing, I think you are the biggest fan of the ABC <laughs> on earth. That shit. More so than Philip Adams. I like Forrest Gump too. Hey, no need <laughs> like, to make uh, up people's what's names. What's his name? Hamish McDonald. I like him. Hamish. <laughs> No, I don't. But He's got an approachable character style in that he looks like he should be on Bondo. You know what? To help, to, just to okay, I don't, I don't agree with what Ali's saying. But to back Ali here, I will say he's very handsome. Minis, yeah. Yeah, he is he too. Is. But what's wrong and look, with his let's background? Be honest, that's why I don't like him because he's taken my guff. <laughs> yeah, Dude, he yeah. was like a public servant. He worked as a firefighter for ages. He's what? A, really? He's a good man. Hey, he didn't tell me he was a firefighter. There's no way. He's from Paddington. He couldn't have been you a firefighter. You've spoken to him? Who? Chris Mins? No. He pretty much has spoken to Chris Mins. Though. How have I spoken to How have I done that? How? He's in a Chris Mins camp, really. Right. I suppose you're kind of just really I'm his, just I'm his PR. I'm from his PR. The future. You it's are just like PR. how you are alive today because your granddaddy knew how to play the accordion <laughs> better than other people, and so True. he was staying back on, off the front line off because the, front the ge- generals were like, "We need summer music while we're playing poker." Yes, yes. it's hundred percent accurate. Yeah. That's what's happening to you today. You mean? You're a musician mm. in a heavily supportive Chris Min's household. <laughs> yeah, but there's no war, so. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you didn't, There's ooh. a war on prices at Bilo. That's kind of a war. I'm having to, um, toast. <laughs> I'm having to look up who Bob Santa Maria yeah, is. Yeah, I don't know who that he, is. He's the founder of the DLP. Ooh. Well, that's another party. I don't know who the fuck that is. Is that they DM? The so they, they fuse with the DMs and the and the, uh, the the car meter party. Did they? Is that what that is? He looks very funny. Does he? I've never seen him. Who is he? He's an Australian journalist. B A. Well, well he, I really can't tell the difference between him and the guy that's always spruiking lamb. He, apart from the fact that yeah. he has hair. Yeah, he yeah, looks yeah. like What's that Mussolini. Guy's name, the lamb guy. What's the lamb guy? Dickovic. He Dickovic. died in 1998. This is a completely different person. Oh shit! What are you talking about? He just googled the wrong Bob person. Bob Santa Maria is not this guy. No, he's that guy. This was Where a split that happened in the 50s. Ah, oh, I, I see. This is that. So it is the right guy. Yeah, it is the right guy. Ah, uh, he's so the OG Fred Nile. Well, so give us give, an even more obscure reference. Give us a little. Fuck. Give us a little background. Jesus. What's what was the split about? Well, wait, this, was this the split? Sorry, no, go on, continue. What do you think? I, does the does Labour Party split that split between like uh, the the left and the Labour left and Labour right split? Right? No, no, no. This was. Actually, what I think Chris Minns was trying to correct very briefly before Gladys Berejiklian caved seconds after he announced it, but it was the Catholics of the Labor Party because that was a huge voting block of Labor, which were the mix, and they didn't That's like the Irish for those playing at home. Good on you. Far out, Mr. Jeez. <laughs> Killing it. You like that? Yeah, I do like, like that, that a lot. Um, yeah, go on. And... Uh, he, uh, I think, had the same problem with the Labor Party that uh, Jack Lang had, is you too many commies, you know. <laughs> or so he thought. <laughs> Dude, I'm say it. Everyone hates commies. It's a bit much now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's come full circle. Just keep, come on. It's the red hate. And, uh, yeah, so they split it, had obviously much more of an emphasis on Christian values. And... It was, I suppose, the original Greens Party. There's always been that third party that soaks up a lot of vote for the Labor Party and was a huge reason why Menzies was able to stay in power for 23 years. That and he had full support of the banks. But electorally, Mm. that's what really killed the Labor Party for a long time. And I really don't think that the Labor Party is stronger as a result of that. That's a very poor way of putting it. 
I think that all it did was hinder their chances during the post-war recovery where we really would have been good to have a Labor Party in there actually spending money while the country was going well. Very they never yeah, get in. Right. Very interesting. Follow-up question. When you say he was supported by the banks, you mean Tyra Banks? <laughs> Yeah, her and she could probably fund the Labor Party which, on her own. <laughs> is Tyra Banks still alive? Or the Banks yeah. electorate? Which which banks are we talking about? I here? don't know, but it's really strange Nap. that you're mentioning Tyra Banks because I did have that moment in traffic today thinking, what happened to her? And follow-up question, is she still hot? I'm guessing no. You've well, got the computer. <laughs> yeah, but we've got Jamie, to let me look that up. But, man, I really think that she'll look like when you look at pictures of Goldie Horn now. Mm. Like, is, is that the same person? My God, age has not been kind to you. To Goldie Horn, I reckon Goldie Horn came out of the womb looking like she is now. Like she hasn't aged at all. Oh damn! Right? No. I'm gonna let you make your own mind, guys. But I think I'm tapping out. <laughs> I see. Ah, going for that really nice Zoomer look of trying to look oh, as much shit. like a meth head as possible. Jesus. She could star in Conjuring Four. What the hell is that? It's what a is the horror ghost? movie? <laughs> it's the guy. Ah! <laughs> Come on, my talk show. Oh, you get to get haunted. You get haunted. <laughs> you get haunted. You get haunted. Did you know she convinced <laughs> a contestant to shave their teeth? What? Shave their teeth? Oh, it's like Please those veneers. Do that. Scaling? That, that shit is fucking terrifying. No, what are you talking about? Let's go cleaning. Teeth nah, cleaning? Nah, 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 nah. Veneers. Ugh. It's gross, dude. Do you know what that is? Is she talking about Dude, look at my teeth. teeth. I do not know what that is. <laughs> it's all overlapping. <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, you got a little snaggle tooth. How'd you get that up? happen? How'd, 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 yeah, God gifted. Allah gave it to me. <laughs> my teeth Is that were, why you didn't go to an orthodontist? It's a sin, is it? <laughs> well, dentist, but... Dude, my teeth were You fun. go to a dentist, full stop. Damn. <laughs> it is a strict yeah. religion. But they're actually like... They're like the clean, you know. But you know what, Ali? Other than that one too, it's pretty straight. Yeah, yeah. it's all good. It's not. Dude, wait, it's it's okay. No, it's not. Stop bad. objectifying me, dude. When I Just was get veneers, go to the bike. Oh, no, please don't. Please don't. I don't think it's necessary, dude. My sexual charisma is beyond my teeth. Yeah, look, you're right. You, you, look, if it worked for Austin Powers, it works for you. <laughs> It's not going to be that bad. And Luna Kuala is saying a uh, snaggle tooth is considered hot in Japan. Why? Shit. Because that's the best teeth there Sorry, is. Sorry, cute, there. not hot. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. It's, I it's don't good. agree. <laughs> I really think that dentures are the way to go. <laughs> I think that, look, honestly, the more fake in Hollywood your teeth look, the better. No. You reckon? You reckon? They, they, no. When, they, when they're so white that they fucking... They, they, they hurt your eyes? Nah. I'm good with just brushing my teeth with uh, baking soda once every month, you know? What? Is that a thing? That's a thing. My dad told me to just do it. Just brush your teeth with toothpaste. Nah, yeah, I do that. But dude, you want to get your teeth... Your, your teeth are already pretty white, but you want to get your teeth whiter? My dad taught me, you just go and get some baking soda and you just, brush, you just put that at the end of your toothbrush and just finish. Like, brush your teeth normally and then you finish with that at the end. It's like... It's kind of like... I don't know, but it works. Someone told me that you you need to brush no, your teeth with Coca Cola. Fuck! Wait, sorry. Hell, this was in Pakistan, so Pepsi. <laughs> brush right, your teeth with right, Pepsi. Right, the green right. one, the green Pakistani Pepsi. No, just Pepsi. Oh, like what the fuck is that? Yeah, then, I don't know. Just, this isn't that fucking <laughs> Abdul guy, whatever his name is. I don't know what his Who name. Who the uh, fuck which told Abdul you guy? to do that? What's his name again? Adiz. Adib. 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 <laughs> That'll erode your enamel, Gabba addict. He's right. That's just sugar. No, but like wait, apparently, Jesus, when you're getting good advice, oh from wait, <laughs> maybe it's wait. for cleaning toilets. One of the two. Yeah, you got yeah, that. The toilets is the one. Yeah, Close probably. though. They're, 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 both, they're both white. Yeah, they yeah, both have enamel on them. <laughs> <laughs> enamel. That's true as well. Wait a what second. is the difference between teeth and, and a toilet? toilet? Nothing. It sounds like a really bad kids' book, doesn't it? Teeth in a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you okay. don't drink out of that, do you, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> there with his dog <laughs> yeah no it's just <laughs> well he's doing it <laughs> it is for evolution only uh here if we've got a question from the extraordinary gentleman why are labor factions called forum unity and old guard are they random names or do they refer to something 
Unity. I don't know. Good question. None that of us know. Question. You don't know? No, I don't know anything. I, I really like. Or shame. I was always of the opinion that the left and right faction aren't really anything except for voting blocks to help you get up, kind of like they have been all throughout history and all parliamentary systems. Um, then someone said they couldn't be more wrong, and that's what I assumed for the last three years. And then I started talking to people in New South Wales Labor, and they said, "No, that's exactly what they are. That's just right. nothing. There's right. no real ideological difference there." Okay. I For instance, Chris Minns, the way that he got his position is by really wooing the woke crowd of the Labor Party, uh, but also but but hold that the machine pod. in the Labor Party. Hold well. the Chris Minns stuff because I have a couple of questions about him. Well, let's do it on the main pod. Okay. Why don't we just go on a break and then come back with the main pod then? Let's do it. We'll go on like a two second break. Miss. Oh, I'm, I'm so now you. what yeah. you do is yeah. Can we you see that, that little bill? box? No, no, not that. No, 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 not on the computer screen. Yeah. Oh, that little box yeah. on top of the wait, computer. Wait, wait, wait. Just, just before you do, can I just give you a general question of the podcast? Seeing as you guys are always uh, posting us, let's be honest, uh, crap. Uh, can, can, can one of you guys give us a cowbell just, or whatever that sound was in William F. Buckley's show? I can't remember what it was called, but you know how they were always debating and they'd be like, and it's time for an ad break. And I go, ding. I remember. That was classy. That was so good. Well, close enough. Those. No need to send it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, middle one. <laughs> and we're back. To the friendly Geordie's podcast. Mm-hmm. With uh, the Three Stooges. Which one are we? Which what one? are they? It was just like Curly, Larry, <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> w- w- was your cousin one of the Three Stooges? Yeah, he was. He was. Didn't they just... Uh, what was I guess the- I'm the fat one. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the difference? Miss loves the brains. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What was the difference between them and like Gra- Groucho Marx? Was he one of them? How did that work? No, was, that uh, was the Marx uh, brothers. Marx was a uh, highbrow humor for the day. Really? <sighs> Look, <coughs> I'm going to be honest. I've never watched any of them. Neither have I. Who has? Has anyone? <laughs> yeah. This extremely old man from this Melbourne theater that I'm always going to. Is oh, like, Lithuanian Club. Know? Yeah. Those guys. And yeah. did you know Did this? you know? That the three stooges were Lithuanian? That's why we like comedy. Uh, oh, your show's about John Howard. Don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. I've heard about it. I that. didn't know they were Lithuanian, so I learned something. Yeah, I've learned something. All right, well, welcome to the Friendly Geordie's podcast. We Before we went on break, we were talking about Chris Minns. Jordan was explaining how Much he gained him. power. So continue. How did he How did he become the top dog in yeah, New I, South Wales? I, I'd like to know, too, like, because uh, now I'm getting these two sides of the story. I'm getting that he was some, you know... Cow, uh, bush ranging, firefighting, cow raising dude, and mm-hmm. he was a barista. Yeah, and he a- lived in Paddington with his wide courtyard. He herded many a sheep. Well, I, I'm well, getting. Well, I'm hearing that on one side, look, and I'm hearing that he was a barista in Paddington. So let's look at his uh, Wikipedia page, just as an idea yeah, of who our next overlord is. Finger crossed. Ultimate source. Um, well, isn't it great that he has the Vouch hair and he's using Wikipedia? She's just been like, let's just show. The son of a school principal. His dad was a school principal. Or oh, uh, maybe his mum was. Um, he's very handsome. Means was born and raised in St. George area. Hey, that's kind of close to where I live, where he studied at Marxist college. No. Marist College. Jesus, you stop injecting your Ma- fucking history. Old school labor, right? <laughs> he holds an undergrad degree from University Marxist. of New England in Armadale. Ooh, so not a real uni. Yeah. <laughs> and, and won a scholarship. What's the in being himself. And won a scholarship at Princeton University. That's something. And he did a master's Princeton. in public policy. That's cool. He's not a lawyer. That's one. Okay. Uh, bonus. Well, that is a but bonus. But he's a long staffer, correct? Uh, okay, so Minns was first elected to the office in 2004, so not really. No, I mean, before that, he was always just in the machinery of the Labor Party. Yeah. He uh, Minns has previously worked in the charity sector for youth mental health charity as a firefighter and, as an, ad- <laughs> and as an advisor to New South Wales government. And as the assistant secretary in the New South Wales Labour Party, (laughs) uh, 
Uh, he's from Hurstville City Council. He joined the Labour Party in 1998 when he was 18 years old and was elected member of Kogra in 2015. It's not as bad as I thought. You know? Yeah, that's right. He's uh, Neil's representative. Right. Yeah, he is Neil's representative. I thought he was like literally Malcolm Turnbull. <laughs> what do you mean? I thought he was. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? <laughs> Not really. Yeah, no, that's the end of that. Okay, okay fine, fine, fine. Well. I'll give you a bit. I think he was literally the same as Turnbull, uh-huh. apart from being in a different body. Ooh, okay, surprise theory. Just chucked in at the last minute. Body snatches. I like. No, that. but do you get what I'm saying? Do you mm, understand? I, uh, look, I'm going to be honest. No, I'm saying he's. I thought he was labor. Uh, labor. Version of him, the Labour version of him. Um, I suppose. Can you give me just a little bit of Eastern yeah, suburbs, I'll like give you climber, ex corporate. He's not Paddington. Eastern suburbs, though. No, I know, but I'm, I'm real. I'm look. You're teaching me, is what he I'm is saying. He's Eastern suburbs. All no, right, he, last like, paragraph. So area, just so though. we all are on the following: Luke Foley's resignation of the role means nominated for the roles of New South Wales Labour leader. And the leader of the opposition on 10th November 2018, Mins lost the leadership spill to Michael Daly, 33 votes to 12. Mins lost the leadership election to Jody McKay on a combined caucus and party membership of 39.5% to 60.5%. Hey, that's telling me that he's not that popular in the party. You're gathering that, are you? Yeah, he was appointed to the portfolio of transport and corrections in the shadow cabinet. So he's a he's a new guy. That's something. But is clean slate. What is that? Uh, the clean slate thing. Clean slate. Because I keep hearing this over and over that he should be new generation. He's younger. But I'm in Miss Love's camp with this. I think that really what they should do is just say, "Hey, Keating, how old are you again? Ninety. And they're just okay. You're the premier now. <laughs> <laughs> that with age comes experience. Yeah, wisdom. I really think that. And dementia is just another form of experience. Yeah, and it's yeah. almost like dementia is almost like a. Uh, and you want to talk about fresh experiences? It's a fresh experience every day. Exactly, dementia is almost like a, a like a self. Uh, what do you call it? Sensor. It's like you know how we have a con. Everyone has like a sense self. They censor themselves. A conscious. Yeah, like we a sh- I don't know if you do. Not me. Not me. Ali and I. Yes, More yes. demented people <laughs> in Parliament. That's exactly what we need. But here's here's a question. <laughs> I agree with that. Here's a question. I because this is something that I uh, I appreciate about him and i think jordan you might be in disagreement with this but i was reading somewhere that he is he is off the opinion chris mins is off the opinion that labor party needs to move away from its union base which i agree with which is really? why it was put on ice originally and look you know what else i see the argument but i don't agree <sighs> man i really don't want to talk about this I'll put the camera in a lot of trouble. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm not going to get in a lot of trouble. It's just that let's just say that the media gloss over that Chris Minns got of being the anointed leader, uh, as usual, is not the reality of the situation. And there's a lot of tension in the party as a result of Chris Minns becoming the leader. Mm. And I think that, look, if I'm going to say anything about unions not having as much influence in the Labour Party. I definitely do see why they want that, which is that they want less faction men holding control of the party. It's Kevin Rudd's view. He definitely is. My problem with it is I think that if the unions have less influence in the Labour Party, it's only a matter of time before they become the Democrats. Right. Well, what's wrong with that? Democrats get elected. <laughs> I mean, true. I'm, I'm That's just saying. very true as well. They get elected. <laughs> Labor Party. Democrats are also more psycho than Malcolm Turnbull. Right. So it's kind of just this thing of, Wait, hey, you, you get mean, the Labor Party. You mean the US Democrats, right? US Democrats. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're talking about the Australian Democrats. But so I'm yeah. just saying, look. I, I, Finally. <laughs> a party sense. that loose off lights. <laughs> But uh, come on, like there's <laughs> only because of the slogan "Keep the bastards honest." Yeah, yeah? that yeah, shooters and fishers close second. All right, <laughs> yes. into that. No more, po- <laughs> no more politics. And talk. I like the fact that they kind of screwed around with the GST and made it worse. Let's be honest. But it was you already were... fucked to begin with. You might as well screw it up more. <laughs> but do you want to? Do you want to win or not? Yeah. Do you want to win or not? Damn it! But at what cost? Right. 
That's the question. I don't know the answer to it. I just know that Kevin Rudd is right in that what happens with factions is that usually they get a lot of dunderheads elected into parliament. Dunderheads. And they have a few smart people within each faction that kind of herd the rest of the cattle around and make them vote the way that they want them to vote. And if you want somebody who's smart like Kate Washington or Kevin Rudd... Um, they need to claw their seat back from a marginal slash liberal safe seat that they don't care about. But usually the safe seats go to some real dullards that they just want there to Dude, do I've their s- bidding. I understand that point, but I just think that there's a greater threat of getting rid of it. Here's the here's another point. Mm. What's done is done. you got to get behind the Labour guy. Because, what, do you want Gladys back? Well, she's going to be No, there. and I will say, honestly, because... Jack, love him to bits. He's an avid listener of this podcast. Jack that's Lang. That's why I'm on my best behavior at the moment. Otherwise, I would be bouncing off a lot. Yep, I'll uh, just put you on the camera that is basically shows the back of your head, okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, why isn't uh, that zoomed into us? Just swivel a bit. Swivel you can learn way. a thing or two I'll, from I'll this new techie. Swivel. No, no, no. I want him to be out of shot. I'm trying to get him hidden. Yeah, I'm getting him out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you, Entirely. Are you literally going to crop him out? What, what are you going to? What are you going to focus that on? The aquarium. What's that going to? Do? Oh yeah, yeah. Jordan's out. There you go. Done. Jordan's been cropped out. <laughs> you realize they can still hear him though, right? No, but it's just a close on. You're on thin ice, champ. Be careful. Or you won't have any cameras on you. <laughs> It'll just become the Jack. Will I'll become Jamie? Huh? I'll become Jamie, exactly. but without any computer in hey, front we'll of get, me. Hey, or we'll, get your, we'll get your replacement, control. the up-and-coming YouTube star. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> he will not be uh, named. So many booby traps in one segment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too close, Ali. Oh, God. Anyway, this podcast go on. should be renamed Landmines, shouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, be sure not to get Jack hammered. I can't believe you actually <laughs> cropped him out. That is fucking No, that's hilarious. that's how that's how it's supposed to be, miss. Oh, There's one close up of Jordan. We get one each. Yeah, so one Jordan's close up his, of us and then three. one three. Yeah. See, I may be the new techie, but he'll always be a uh, boss the young techie. Yeah, yeah, boss the head honcho. Oh uh, shit. Miss, you were right about something. I just noticed something. <laughs> Uh, Chris uh, Mintz, Banks is alive. Born, <laughs> born in Paddington. Well, that was really yeah. Jordan. That was really Jordan. And there you go. So, it, so it's fucking true. He's not a country boy. No, he was a latte sipping yeah. freaking hipster. No, I'm uh, off him again. Good. I'm off him. Hey, it's <laughs> That's the end. That's it. Not my. He hasn't got my support. What, what's the independent to Hashtag go for? Hashtag not my opposition leader. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the, who's, the, who's the next best independent to run in the state politics? It's called flat white and not latte. <laughs> That's right. Flat white. White problem. White privilege. Flat white male. Flat uh, white. Oh, shit. I like that. Flat white male. That's pretty good. I hey, like patent, patent pending. Send me the money if you uh, copyright <laughs> that. I'll just, we'll just go on a trust basis here. Okay. Uh, by your silence, I assume that you are understanding our arrangement. Uh, <laughs> um, well, dude, he's the, he's a fucking that's that's just a, well. Look, we we a, know that you were a fan of Michael Daly, and uh, I suppose I thought he was good too. He, yeah, we all thought he was good, but uh, not Asian Australians. No, Asian sauce. Australians liked him too. I think it was just more. There's only one seat that went down, and it was Chris Mid's seat. All the other Asian seats went up and vote. It was a little right. bit of damage from, but like they didn't lose those seats that they were expecting to lose. Right, right. Uh, in general, though, the Asian vote wasn't affected by that because, let's be honest, Is no there... one really cares about those comments except the Sydney Morning Herald. <laughs> Do Asians, <laughs> most Asians vote liberal anyways, right? Good oh, question. I don't know. I, don't know. I you can't assume ju- that it's all the ones from commie countries that vote <laughs> for the Liberal Party. Mm. <coughs> yeah, but that's all of Asia. Nah. Is it? No. The red, they call it the red continent for a reason. <laughs> they don't call it that. I just made that right, up. Right, right. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Switch seats. We Geo switch brains. on the fly. <laughs> um, but look, so I suppose you can't say too much on account of, you know, we're live right now. and No, but know, look, this is what I'll say, right? I don't want you to, you know. The argument that I hear for Chris Mins is that he knows how to handle the media 
the best in the Labour Party. I think that that is definitely true. Uh, he knows, this is according to Jack, how to package messages in a way that will get cut through in the press. I also think that he's from that staffer class and I think that the media is kind of just like, hey, it's somebody else that's had bullshit jobs their entire life. Yeah, he's one of us. <laughs> I, th- I really do think that it's that much. And so then they see somebody like Daly, for instance, that was like, you know, I was a labourer for a bit. And, um, let's be honest, am I still a labourer now? <laughs> What, what am I going here? Are we going to build this uh, brick or what? Are we going to, we going to make this parliament? No? Yeah, yeah. I, I joined I Labor. Was some renovations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I joined. <laughs> As a labourer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was one syllable away from labourer, and they're the ones, uh, you know, the public sector. They build things. That's why I joined. <laughs> That's what Labor should be. I'm not voting no, for I anyone. I actually think that. I think that that is what Labor should yeah. be. I think that they make better decisions than people that sit around in that professionalised class of the Labor Party because but they can, actually have some experience but, but with I, the working but class. But I can also extend an olive branch to what Ali's saying, which is like, look, he's handsome and people like him. And good sneaker game. I, I noticed don't that. I know if that's true. I think that actually the average person did like Michael Daly. And if right. you see both of them speak, okay. it makes a lot of sense. It's that uh, Chris Mintz is very polished. He's very yes. articulate. Yeah. But he Michael Daly does wore speak glasses. Like he's running for student council. <laughs> but what? Michael Daly wore glasses, so it's even. Yes, and let's not forget this. He had a gut, and I think Hell that that's yeah. better than being handsome. Well, hey, it's not a beer belly; it's a fuel tank for a sex machine. Yeah, okay, thank you. Isn't this great? We have a constant reminder of Christo's incessant barbs just there. <laughs> His two jokes plucked for all eternity. I don't mind it. That's I like yeah, it. you don't, do you? Because it's <laughs> factual. Uh, well, look, I, I guess we'll just have to uh, see what happens with this. So he's not in. Or no, he's, he's in. in. Right. He got in uncontested. No, no, he's in. He's and in. the so reason that he did is there was a lot of pressure from the Labor Party machine, and obviously the press was trying to usher him in. And this is the problem that I have, is that why was the press so insisted on getting increased means. I'm always yeah, really dubious. dubious about that. He does look a bit it, like the Laramie Cigarettes guy too, doesn't he? Does he? I think so. Get that up, The spokesman? Ari. Yeah. Who, or are you who? talking about the Marlboro Cowboy? No, I'm talking about the, uh, the spokesman. Who? It's like, kids are dying. Just write Simpsons Laramie Cigarettes. I no, no, no. That's more the lawyer's Paul Spillins. So that's yeah, is that more him? Like. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, maybe I got that wrong. No, anyway, Chris Minns looks like a slightly less buff Chesty Bonds. There he is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe you're right with that. I'm seeing more of a resemblance between him and Smoke and Joe Camel, to be honest. <laughs> 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 I see this as a win-win, Jordan. Yeah. Look, here's the thing. Let's but let's not. We're gone. I'll tell you why. Can you see my reservation? I understand, but I, I I could I see your reservations, but I think it's a win-win for you because. Look, we all know Gladys is most likely going to win Gladys, the elections. Yeah. So if he gets, if he loses badly, he's out. If he is able to lose gracefully, then he deserves another shot. So maybe he's not that bad. No, I, I don't necessarily think he is going to be bad. I think he actually might be a good performer. It's so fucking lame. It's just, it's just that it's that one thing that I've got. You know. It's so lame to speak why in those terms. Why are the enemies too. in his corner? But why are it they? It reminds me sort of of when Julia Gillard took over from Rudd Ooh. and there was a huge support base in the, in the media when uh, Julia Gillard came in and then it just got pulled out underneath as soon as she did something to piss them off. Right. Ooh, the old bait and snatch technique. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I've got about it. But... Um, yeah, I, I also know that the uh, rank and file of the Labor Party was livid that Jodie McKay was voted out because she was put there by the rank and file. Mm. And understandably so, because damn, she is likeable. It's because yeah. she was a woman. What? The rank and file voted for her. No, that they took her out because she was a woman. You heard it here first. <laughs> Dude, Exclusive. you know what? It's, it's really amazing to see the woke faction of the Labor Party 
Bullock nods around that to be like, Joe McKay, fuck. She fucking Joe McKay. She's like, Isn't she your dream? Yeah, but she... Uh, I, she, she, she... It was unfair on her. What was she unfair? didn't... Yeah. Jody, like, she didn't get a proper shot. No. Nah. Neither did Michael Daly in his defense, but... <laughs> no, dude, no one got a fair shot. No one got a fair shot. But that's what's amazing about Daly is that... They were polling at 22% when Daly got in and he bolstered up their vote to about 35% and he was in for four months. I think that the more people that see Daly, the more they think, yeah, mad, a suburban dad. <laughs> That's a premier. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I still say bring back Bob Carr. Bob Carr. That's just my opinion. What the hell? Oh, was that that... I'm of the same opinion. Well. I don't think that Bob Carr is yes. of the same opinion. <laughs> <either>. <laughs> Bob like, Carr. I don't even think that. Again, I don't think that Bob Carr knew he was premier. I think he <laughs> thought that he was a lecturer at UNSW. Yeah, yeah, the whole time <laughs> he was. He was. <laughs> well, so I guess that's all that we have to say about Chris Mins. It's too early. Let's just it? be too optimistic. Early, you know, but I will say that the fact that one of his first acts was to really go in with the cemetery reforms and hit Gladys hard on that, that was a great strategic move. And that is what the people that support Chris Mintz say is why he should be the opposition leader because he's going to stake out the victories that Labor needs to win to make inroads. What's the... the give us right. a background of cemetery reforms. What's that about? I don't know anything about it. All I know is that the churches were pissed off at it. Chris Mintz saw an opportunity... And, you know, it would be nice if someone who was religious voted for the Labor Party <laughs> post-1951. <laughs> hey, I have discovered God again in this day and age, and I will vote for Labor so you get that one person. That's true. But look at that cross on him. That's the main reason the Miss Love's always on the fence. That's right. Dude, my Don't cross you? isn't here. My star moon and crescent is here. I don't know the difference. What, why are you pointing to one part of your chest and then another? Well, uh, the ch this is uh, this is my heart. Yeah. Well, what's this? This, this is, is just bone. Yeah, it's just bone. That's where he keeps his cross on his bone. I, I lost so you're this saying metaphor. he's a fake Christian and you're a real Muslim? <laughs> yes. Okay. The man that is just, constantly disparaging. He's <laughs> just always <laughs> eating pork. <laughs> well. It's because I come from a family of secret atheists in <laughs> every Muslim country. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not get. Let's not expose well, look, me. That's, that's what am I, QAnon member? I'll, I'll give you this, Ali. Your mum did throw out that Hindu statue. That's I gave right. Of you, that's Muslim enough for me. <laughs> that's right. That's there so you go. Throw it out. And what a shame as well. You really should have given it to Miss Love with the foresight that one day he'd be on Tinder and he could give it to one of the many hipster chicks that he's slamming. Damn, pussy for Ganesh. <laughs> Wish we could go on a break now. I really do. <laughs> we're not going well, on a break. That's not happening. We're, we're going to be discussing. That's it's getting not, published. We're going to be no talking more even, about your there, Bumble escapades. Yeah, that's there are up, none. That's the third segment. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, there's no point in me defending this anymore. Uh, the second one is, the second segment after this is, will Miss Love go on a date with a man? <laughs> 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 I wasn't allowed to say it, but I didn't say it. That will not be the second segment. Guess well, what, guys? What I'm just saying is that there is a man that is very fancy on Miss Love, and we're all yes. pushing him to go there just just to see if he likes it. Actually, Try it out. That's yeah. I agree. It's like changing from Cotty's Cordial to Tip Ribena. To <laughs> so Ribena. But here's a question. Well, I like Ribena more. So <laughs> I, I have a hypothesis that Miss Love is a gay icon. He, like, gay, I think gay men <laughs> like you way more than straight women do. Well, what's there not to love? Can we confirm this? Um, yeah, of yeah, our if you audience. you are a homosexual, identify yourself <laughs> and tell us what you think about Miss Love's ass. <laughs> yes, please. This isn't the up late. What are you guys doing? <laughs> this is the point oh. where we talk about Bhutan and how happy they are for two hours. Where little boy Daddy Do says Miss Love made me gay. There you go. What a converter. So, Miss Love, Thank you are you. You, you're That's in a gay icon. <laughs> He's done what they've all dreamed of doing. Oh shit! I'm gay. You're wrong. Well, there you go. Oh, what? What? What are you? What That's are you saying? Slow. Not gay, but I'd still root him. <laughs> right. Okay. So, well, this is what our hypothesis was a couple of podcasts back that Miss Love's demographic is straight men. That's who he should be. <laughs> I mean, look, you're right though. 
the, the, the level at which I attract straight men is unparalleled. You know, that's 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 for yeah, some dude, reason. Yeah, like, dude, I, I like why. you, but I've never thought of fucking you. Well, you're, you're in the minority. Man. I'm too straight men. No, there's nothing. There's, it doesn't make there's nothing gay about when you have sex with another man, right? Just a bit of fun. Um, uh, <clears throat> prison no. rules, eh? Hell yeah. But oh, like, shit. <laughs> our viewers are going up. <laughs> That's clock 460. Well, um, apparently there's some internet issue right now, so um, people aren't able to tune in. Well, that what? does make me feel good. <laughs> it makes you feel good, well, too. Well, it is great, isn't it, that we still have an audience much bigger than people that have been doing Twitch for 12 years. Right? Is that true? Yeah. Without tits, too. Exposed tits, at least. Dude, that, uh, <laughs> that, you got, that has to make you... The only thing to say that is, ha, ha. Yeah. The only thing to say. You heard the man. But let's not forget, there was, like... We always, it's always too easy for us to gloss over the fact that Jordan locked, locked himself in a small prison cell, essentially, a small cave for like seven years. Well, still going on. I mean, it's still going on, but like, different cell. you know, that is, I know that like, uh, I, I am obviously the boomer of the group, but it doesn't take, I take every opportunity I can to be like, wow, he really did hunker down and work hard. It's good he read those self-help books. Those books are amazing. Really makes you think. Don't, don't forget, he re- he did put the, the hours in. No, this didn't all come free, Ali. He didn't. That's because of the hours. This that's thing. actually free, Quinn. Well, bad, bad <laughs> example. Bad example. But that fucking <laughs> Tamagotchi. Thank you, Road. We appreciate you. That Tamagotchi there was... Also free. Also, <laughs> actually, <laughs> most of yeah, the... This one isn't free. That's, Every, that's, everything that, was given to us. That's what happens when you get... Okay. Okay this, is, okay, this is what I'm trying to say. The first two years of your uh, video making, you weren't getting free shit. Fair? No, I wasn't getting any free okay, shit. Okay, there you go. And now people are just I beg to defer treats in my cave. Yeah, and I love I that. I beg to I defer. That. Defer your course. You, you're nearly done. I consider dough to be free money as well. Okay, all fair. right. That's a very and fair little, little, well, little, you little known comeback. fact. You do like this you man later. in his very early days was indeed a, a, a Centrelink employee. <laughs> for, not an employee. Hey, he was on door for like- Tasmania's highest employee. It is a poll going, by the way. Miss Love, your ideal romance slash bromance. And it's shifting very rapidly. I think that's because the internet's down though. Mm-hmm. What, what what sorry go through it uh, here look it's not read looking, it out it's read not, it it's out. not looking good either there's a new poll miss love your ideal romance slash bromance hell yeah is on 27 percent is it j numbers all right what who from the last poll where uh jay leno all of a sudden made a surprising oh jay yeah also what's uh, up no, with everyone let's have a beer first Fair. is 40 percent that's a normal yeah, reaction. It is amazing. Miss Love triggers in a lot of straight men to question whether they're homosexual <laughs> or not. That's and a compliment. It's gone up to 50. Are you serious? <laughs> that is it's a like- landslide. <laughs> that is so rare in data points to get a 50%. Swing. <laughs> But I do mainly attract straight men that are like, I'd like to, uh, uh, you know, get Korean barbecue with you. It's like, well, dude, that's expensive. I don't know who you are. I like hanging out with people, but like, I'm not 20 anymore. Like, what what are we going to talk about? Like, how crazy uh, would it be to suck my dick? That's that. The word straight would imply that that doesn't happen, Ali. No, but, but that's your stick. You're making people first, gay. Does yeah. Does it? Yeah. That's beer amazing. first. Okay, so Second is penetration. Right. So weird. Not attractive to gay men. Attractive to curious men. <laughs> I don't even. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Curious. That's hot. Just curious. <laughs> Anyways, moving away. We'll keep an eye on that poll, but here's the... Oh, okay. Let's talk about this. Yeah, yeah. He's too into it. Logan Paul versus Mayweather. I know. What are you guys' predictions? I, didn't that already happen? No, not yet. Well, I swear... No, Mayweather? he did. He, he, no. he tied. He tied with him. 
No. Pretty sure. Google that shit. <laughs> My news is very outdated. If I'm right, that'll be... Oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. Someone reads the news. On a political podcast. Who doesn't won? Know who the opposition leader On is. Sunday night, <laughs> Floyd Mayweather outboxed Logan Paul. Oh, I thought it was a tie. Eight rounds in the exhibition by rule, uh, but no official winner. Yeah, tie. Dude, I'm going to give it to fucking Me Logan Paul. fucking too. I think it's incredible. But you know what? Okay. I'm a fan. And, Rocky. and you know what he did? He entered the ring with a limited edition, like $300,000 price tag Charizard limited Pokemon card laminated on a necklace. YouTube makes it mainstream. I mean, That's make crazy. that shit mainstream. No, but like, dude, come on. Didn't Logan Paul get knocked out by like that British YouTuber? I think he's pretty- And draws with like the greatest boxer of all time. I think he's pretty good. But the greatest boxer of all time is like Bob Carr's age now, right? No, uh, Floyd Mayweather. How old is he? I think he's in like his mid thirties, but dude, he's- Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, I think so. He's not old. You're thinking of like Mike How Tyson. How old was he when he fought for Oscar De La Hoya then? Like I 10? Know. I think you're I thinking know. of- <laughs> I think you're thinking of like Muhammad Ali. Yeah, you're thinking of like, Ty- Ty- what's his name? Uh, Mike Tyson or some shit. Look, let's be honest. I probably just watched Rocky Three and think he's Mr. T. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> he was born in 1977. So that oh. makes him- not very, 30. very old. Yeah, like uh, close to forty. Oh shit! Wait, he fought. Okay. No, no, more than forty, actually. Yeah, I'll. Uh, what's your name? Jordan was right. Yeah, you're right. Older than forty, but still, dude. Yeah, look. Logan Paul is a YouTuber. Logan Paul is a YouTuber. He does have former heavyweight champions training him. That was some of the best YouTube footage I've ever seen in my life. Was after he 44, lost yeah. against uh, whatever the fuck his name is. That British guy. KSI. KSI. Right. Yes, that's probably his name. Must well, be. yeah. Like Elon Musk has a kid that's yeah. just a binary code. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the future. Um, but yeah, there was this guy. Who had that classic voice of getting punched in the throat too many times. Uh, and it was amazing just Jake Paul yelling at him being like, you didn't tell him to weave enough, man. He's like, man, look at all these other motherfuckers. As soon as this motherfucker loses, they all gone. I'm still here. I'm still here with y'all. I'm one of the palms. Just <laughs> you're here, but makes you're himself one of the family <laughs> without anyone else's permission. That's amazing. Now you've joined. Yeah, the, like you've that's joined who you want on your side, right? Mm. You've joined the YouTuber family. His dad, his mum, who's really you know scared and tries to keep her face off camera, and of course Logan Paul's dad, who makes out with underage girls who have. Mine folds on. Boys, this Welcome is... to the family. By the way, just so you guys <laughs> know... Works to me, dude. This is like... Yeah. There <laughs> is my family, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Internet has crashed. What, like uh, the internet? Because of how popular we are. <laughs> yeah, because of no, how popular... No, because of my poll. That's what happened. Uh, Too many <laughs> straight men that want to have a midi with me. Stig just messaged saying, Twitch has crashed for a lot of people. It seems me included. We'll have to watch it when it comes back. What? Apparently, it's because Fastly CDN has been going down intermittently today. So, thank you, Malcolm Turnbull. Oh, shit. Is the point. Shit. Is the moral of the story. Yeah. Look, Good that is. Me. I really like that barb in there. You should be in the boxing ring, Arlo. <laughs> that is. Actually, also, the other thing is, people want you to box uh, Gary Awesome. Oh my god, I would watch that. Far out. Dude, Wouldn't we it could, be sad if I lost it? I could, I, dude, we could train <laughs> you up. I would bet on me losing. No, 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 we could train you well, up. Well, I love we you, but I'm not betting on you. <laughs> yeah, I could, even I could just train you to beat that good, dude. Because, man. Just one of I just year. remember what someone say, you guys should do an exhibition match. You versus Isaac Butterfield. And I thought, hmm, six foot eight man from Newcastle. Yeah, I reckon I could take him. Jeez. And then I just went over to one of his podcasts and he's just like, yeah, so basically I'm an MMA champion in Australia. And I was just like, okay, don't like my chances as much. <laughs> but uh, I think my girlfriend's done Taibo, so <laughs> Muay Thai. <laughs> no, no, no. What's it called? Wang Chun or something? Yeah, Wing Chun. Wing Chun. Yeah, which Wang. by the way, those are, those, that's not a thing. Those are crispy. Dude. Those are crispy chicken wings. Did you know what's I think they are as well. Did you know what's really funny about that too? I was reading a lot of the comments from that podcast we did with special guest Tom. And like unanimously, everyone's like, yeah, Wing Chun or whatever the hell it's called is just a fake. It's just Tai Chi. It's like someone comes at you and you get punched in the face and your nose breaks. But you just do this. 
<laughs> so it's, like, <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not. It's not a vibe. So uh, yeah, I, I don't. I gotta see say, two is very unhappy. She just came in just before we started and said, "Everybody keeps calling me Tong now." Yeah. So I'm here to say, keep it up. Please keep it up. Good yeah. going. I mean, it's funny. Yeah, <laughs> it has to be done. I mean, you can go for she a real name. She needs to know that's her real name. If you can pronounce her real name, go for it. But you'll need a degree in I don't know sociology. I think so. Gun, gun, you would have to be that gun. linguist that was in that movie about contacting <laughs> aliens. That's racist. Yeah. <laughs> um, She'll get your laugh. Uh, but yeah, like. Well, our numbers just went crazy. Up or down? Up. Very up. What the hell is going on to with this internet? To over 1,000. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too much stage whoa. fright. Jeez. Welcome to the, the friendly Jimmy's Vod Podcast. Yeah, Everyone remarkable. joining us. We've, uh, there might be more people listening to us than Ben Forded. Hopefully. Yeah, Probably are. Yeah. Um, I think that most of the people listening to Ben Fordham died and their radios just still going. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't laugh so right. hard at that. It's probably true. There is a lot. There's a lot of truth to that. Like, yeah, like that that guy, how how the fuck did he get on 2GB? Wasn't he on 2 Well, TV? it's a little thing called graduating from his mother's vag. But didn't, <laughs> didn't, didn't they... Pure nepotism. Usually does it. Didn't he... Uh, wasn't he on the footy show? I swear he was on the AFL show. I think that's what he wanted to be as a sports commentator. I mean, and I think he, was. he couldn't cut the mustard. And so they gave him a job at 2GB. And I heard this. I can't say that this is true. But somebody that used to work for him said, yeah, this new gig's great. All I have to do is just bag lefties and I've got a job for life. Well, yeah. So he's not really into it. But you can tell, right? The way the guy speaks... Yeah, I. That guy should just be commentating university NRL. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's accurate. I, I don't think he should even be in media. He should be... Well, I mean, his audience did just halve... Uh, not halve. Go down by a third. A third? Wait, down by... So he... Kyle and Jackie O are almost beating him. They're almost wow. the number one radio show in Sydney, which has never happened. Because FM- 2GB will always have that contingency of, like, you know, boomers, frankly. Even boom is the golden generation. Oh, golden, the golden generation. My people, my people. Yeah. A golden generation is also the late generation now. What's that mean? They're dead. Yeah, they're the late generation. You're right. Not all. The late show. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, But if you listen to it, it's so obvious because all the ads are, do you need your w- World War I German hat polished? <laughs> Actually, I do. I've got some. What you about nappies? Need- Let's be honest. You need them. I'll, just, I'll send them. <laughs> What's this diaper stuff? <laughs> we back to nappies. Do they still put hey, this? I've got nappies here. While we have a huge audience, what about this? Well, I dropped. put on a nappy in the next podcast... And I try and piss myself to see how much it retains. I am liking that. I'm, I'm liking that too. Uh, but how Is that this? a sexual thing? Wait a sec, wait a sec, Jordan. Maybe. Can we do this though? Because we're desperate for support. Can we just say he will do that if we get like 20 new Patreons? No, 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 no. How about yes. this? How about this? We, can't we prove sell that. his pissed nap. That's too much. <laughs> well, there's a guy that Dude. buys Miss Love socks. I haven't even sold my freaking beard hair. I think someone did someone throw that out. If no one bought it, dude, throw it out. Yeah, you cunt. I'm sorry. That I was worth two dollars. Bag. You know what? And also we because our, our apartment flooded while I was gone because of my stupidity, I, I let the entire tank drain. I saved the fish's lives. You saved the fish's lives. Any, any what dead? you did not save oh. is our electrical co- equipment, which was incredible. We came back. Oh, really, Christo? That's not true. I- Lifted most of the shit off the ground, didn't I? No. Oh. Well, well you just can't get them all. I, I think that what you might have done is maybe lift the chairs off the ground. And I definitely... The electrical goods. I definitely... The water, no, just, which is incredible. <laughs> we walk in, you open the door, water seeps out of the apartment. Ooh. Miss Love isn't here, but his bag is. Christo and my editor had been filming a long day because we did that John Barillaro stuff. It was 9 p.m. when we came in. Apartment is soaked. 
There's electrical goods sitting in a pool of water. <laughs> uh, his bag is there. Everyone looks at each other and thinks, yeah, okay, employee of the month yet again. We walk in. We start editing for another two hours. He comes back from the sauna. Why did You want to get that on record. He's been getting fit. Yeah. You take note of that, all those curious straight men that are watching. All yeah, right? That's right. <laughs> so you, you came in, wait, 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 you came to the apartment, you saw it was flooded and you said, I think I need to go for a swim. No, that's not what happened. And I, ugh. not enough water in his life. It that's reminded true. him that there's a pool downstairs. Look, firstly, like oh, that reminds me. Closes the door. Look, down. firstly, I think like a lot of the visual aspects of like the autists, they get sort of this sort of like visual distortion. <laughs> Damn. So you know, not wrong. so I think that there was a little bit of like you know, they see we see a can, they see a hexagonal flying orb. You know what I mean? So it's like, well, was that <laughs> was that reality or was it them just projecting Age of Empires two? And they're like, there's a moat there. Oh no no, oh no no. That's the that's. <laughs> Okay, so that's, what, that's what, my retort there. You give but your version. <laughs> but second, <laughs> it's very valid. It's as well. valid, but second, second. Like, I don't. I, 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 hard to take uh, anyone's word for uh, anyone on his team's word at face value. Pretty hard to do for me. <laughs> but so what but happened? Like, What's your version? Uh, look, I will. I'll extend an olive branch to Jordan though. I, uh, I lifted. I did lift up. So I mean, look, I came in. I, was, I saw some patches on, I'll tell you the whole thing, some patches on the ground. I was just like, someone, you know how your brain does that weird thing of piece, piecing together like patches of like reality? And it was like, someone dropped some water. Oh no, someone must have dropped more glasses of water and more water. And then I looked <laughs> Whilst up. Whilst he's like ankle deep in water. He's like <laughs> and, then, and then I looked up and there was like Swimming. that much water in the tank. And I was like, ah! anyway, crisis mode, refilled that. But to extent, to, you know, <laughs> so more water was on the ground. Yeah, uh, you know, I did that, and then to instill an olive branch to Jordan, though, I definitely lifted up all the electronics here. Well, they're working, yes, but but all but, the electronics there, yeah, which are the, just off camera, the, which I assumed ele- he didn't think were important because well, they're not on camera. <laughs> no, 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 I saw the electronics there, so I lifted fifty percent of the electronics up. I saw them there, and I was just like, <laughs> you know, I, I analyzed the situation. I said, ah, they're fine. Just left them. And so you went Look, for a swim. This is not what I'm yeah. really concerned about. Electronics come and go. Yeah. My concern is you could have died. Really? Yeah. You reckon? The whole apartment is flooded. Fuck, well, There's electrical I goods didn't. in a pool of water. Yeah. And I know from experience of you walking through a meth house yeah. without <laughs> any shoes on that I wouldn't put it past you that you were walking around without any shoes. I did have no shoes on. I did have no shoes on. Jeez. Okay, next uh, time that happens, uh, go. No, actually, you know what? You know what? No, yeah, no, I amazing. did have no shoes on. I Everyone? did have no shoes on. Yes. And the only reason I put them on, you know, how good is this? The only reason I put them on, I was just like, I was like, mm, my feet are getting cold. <laughs> so I put shoes on. But can I just explain Everyone's something? Everyone's always saying this. Someone from the friendly Geordie team is going to die for the cause. <laughs> <laughs> but can I just explain something? Look, 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 you guys just tell me. I, I don't know enough about physics. But say this is like, say this is a, uh, no, this is better. This is the, this is the PowerPoint, right? Everyone can see the PowerPoint's here. The thing's going here. Doink, doink, pink, poink, you know, the, the powers. Yeah, supply. extension. Yeah. Yeah, those things. So this is it, right? The electricity's all, you know, all up here, right? The water has seeped from around over yonder into the, into the, into the, you know, Carpet, Miss of you are making yourself less mm. and less of a credible witness with each word that comes. Miss, out do of you your think you're an electrical uh, 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 engineer? Uh, uh, look, look, look! I'm gonna shop, but look, what is hitting here? It's not coming in here. Right. So your understanding of electrical sockets is that they are a boat and they float around, and well, after it, that, that's it, all fine. <laughs> well, the water was there was no water. It was like that. It was just damp. Just damp. The floor was damp. Yeah. So it wasn't like floating in water. No, that's true. It wasn't floating in water. Not even close. There was a lot of water in this apartment. But nevertheless, it wasn't there was no water coming in mm. to the sockets. Mm. I wouldn't it wasn't raining. My life on your <laughs> <of the electronics. laughs> 
Yeah, but I think I have a point here. Miss Lightning? I think fair. I should have probably had shoes on. But Is anyone an electrician? Can we get Can a someone a tell us that? Because no, I, someone, I, I, did, I, I, someone did say it. One of the- I mean, I have stuck my finger once. Once I did stick my finger in an electric socket and zap my whole arm and I probably nearly died and I was like 20. So I'm not, I haven't got the best track record, <laughs> but nevertheless, Mr. I one think it stands that it wasn't raining, you know? Yeah, you were indoors. One person that knows <laughs> something just said, Miss Love, you, you were like almost dead slav. <laughs> no way. That's just conspiratorial right there. It was fine. <laughs> no shoes, in water, electronics on the ground. Well, that's a big fish tank, so it must have been a lot of water. How did it you clean up? a lot of water. Uh, I'm, I realize I probably shouldn't be talking about this on Why? the podcast. I'm not getting my bond back. <laughs> Dude, no one in this building knows what a podcast is, don't worry. Uh, yes. Let alone the owners. <laughs> and it is a huge surge of chance because when we first saw the name of the building manager here, his name's something like Les Chung or something, we are just like, damn, he is going to be a stickler for correctness. Unbeknownst to us, he's not an Asian He's an Azen. <laughs> and if anyone knows less about electronics than Miss Love, it's going to be a guy hey, that the dresses like a Persian. Right. And I'm pretty sure lives in Ali's suburb. Well, I'm the height of electrical. He's the guy He's the guy who created Ohms and then there's me. So, you know, I'm not that low. <laughs> right. Ohms law. Right. Zapslav. <laughs> You guys are all being very melo- over dramatic, if I may say. All right, so. okay. I don't know. I just find it concerning that I know more about your life than you do, as in I recall more about it, and I yeah. seem to be more concerned about your life than you are as well. You seem to think that when you die, it's in a computer game and you get another go. <laughs> that's not how it I works. That's why you got the cross. <laughs> <laughs> hey. If I needed any proof uh, that God exists, it's that uh, you are a lucky I'm a man. Lu- really, you're, you're yeah. really. So what? How are how are how were, uh, dumb and dumber taking it? <laughs> dumb and dumber. Yeah. How what were they saying? Uh, they were concerned, right? <laughs> but also had the opinion that if he did die, it is well deserved <laughs> and needs to be in the Darwin books. Well. You know, survival is finished. One, one might be having a, a little a bit more of a harsh fate than me pretty soon. So I guess karma's a bitch. <laughs> okay, that's All right. enough for that. That's way more testy than Chris Mids. Also related to New South Wales politics. More coming soon. Let's let's get back to Chris Mids. Uh, actually, let's not. But how about? <laughs> You don't want to get Miss Love angry. He'll start releasing state secrets. It'll be <laughs> Julian Assange pretty soon. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, what embassy are you going to run to? Embassy? Uh, yeah. All that talk about Bhutan. I go there. <laughs> yeah, they'll they protect you. They'll protect you with like all 15 people that they have in their country. <laughs> All right, fine. Against like, Let's be honest. They'll look at how relaxed his eyes are and be like, Buddha, is that you? <laughs> or maybe <laughs> try Croatia, Croatia, considering Croatia that they right. may accept you. The only one that will accept you. Come on. Ukraine. Ukraine. No, the Ukraine will look at your eyes and be like, eh, we've got enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about this? Here's another segment. Oh, God. <laughs> Usually... I am all praise for China, but here's a moment f- to, from they for us to say, far. China sucked in. Well, oh. just because, like, apparently, um, you know how they were doing the trade war to punish Australia? Well, it kind of backfired. Really? Yes, because <laughs> they stopped trading coal, but one of the consequences of, like, corona and them doing the trade war was that iron ore prices quadrupled, mm-hmm. and Australia made a killing... <laughs> A lot of it from China as well. Wait, wait, say that again. So basically what happened was that China said no more coal, no more wine, which was like small stuff. The the, the other thing is like China is really dependent on our iron ore. Yeah. Because, you know, the whole uh, infrastructure industrial complex thing that they, the way they, of course, of course. So, so they They need iron ore to keep making buildings, which is, and that's, that's actually our Achilles heel too. Like if China says no more coal, no more wine, yeah, it kind of hurts a few people, but we'll be fine. But if China says no more iron ore, mm. then we are actually fucked. But <laughs> China yeah. 
didn't say that and frankly couldn't say that because of their need for iron ore. But one of the things that happened was mm. that iron ore prices skyrocketed because um, after Corona, Brazil just kind of shut down. So we actually Dude, we listen, are shut down. Bro, we shut are down the in the sense country. that we, we are, are truly the lucky. We country. are just the here's lucky another country. here's another lucky drink. Oh, the love of nation. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm like, it's good that I'm in this country because it's just appropriate. It's the Frank Grimes quote: "If you were any other country, you'd be dead long ago." Yeah, yeah. 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 Miss laugh. <laughs> Well, <laughs> thanks for that addition, whoever that Sorry, was. Yeah, no, 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 go. <laughs> but uh, but what I'm saying is, I think the moral of the story is that usually we criticize the U.S. for doing all these heavy-handed moves. It's time for us to say, China, you tried to pull a U.S. and you got sucked in. Mm, yeah, look, I'm really showing my levels of patriotism here. I'm kind of sad that, that happened. Shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> But we, uh, anyways. I, I was hoping that this was going to act as a lesson for every other country on earth oh. that you shouldn't be escalating wars. That is true. In a country that Ugh. has nukes. Yeah. You do make but sense there. Your that openers are always questionable. Your openers are always questionable, but your analysis is on point here. Look, yeah, I, I agree. And it also gives, like, fucking Frydenberg oxygen to come out and budge. It's like, we are on track to recovery. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's because you you, you, you hit the jackpot, Just dude. Luck. You went to the roulette table, and it ended up on the number that you chose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true. And also, it's Saddam Hussein-level propaganda after the first Gulf War when the U.S. withdrew on their own volition, and then he told everybody, I turned back the American giant all by myself, baby. That's what he did. <laughs> yeah. It's just complete luck. There's no difference between him and Frydenberg except the accent. Yeah. You reckon China's nukes are any good? Yeah. Nah, they don't work. They don't work. <laughs> don't they definitely I'm work? I'm just imagining too. they shoot <laughs> them. I'm they imagining will they blast shoot blast our ass so hard. Right. I'm just imagining they shoot them and then like all the like material, you know, goes away and it's just like one guy on like a thing with the dollar signs. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it would be it would be hard for them to hit us because we're like too far away from them. No way. Like you yeah, need to travel a we're lot. Big target. Yeah, but like no. Okay, let's just Darwin can get <laughs> they they could suffer, but we wouldn't. I don't it's know too far that. away, Good on dude. Darwin always taking one for the team, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, like, I'm not saying that they, their missiles can't reach us. They definitely can, but we have a lot of time in between to like. Shh. Yeah. Shoot them off. Pew, pew, pew. Is that what happens with nukes? That yeah, nukes. They, it the can Star happen Wars with program nukes. was such a failure, but... That's what, like, the Israeli Iron Dome is. By the way, uh, uh, update on that. Uh, Bibi Netanyahu is bye-bye Netanyahu. What? Yeah, I heard about that too. He's wow. gone skis. This is even bigger than Logan Paul almost beating Mayweather. Let's not go crazy. <laughs> let's not nah, go crazy. Nah, let's, that's the biggest um, news story. But, sorry, but, sorry. What? Was it like I an don't withdraw my comments on China. Was it, a, was it an Arabic dude that... No, of course not. I made that up. There was something I read No, about. there's no, never going to be an Arabic, Arabic president of Israel. <laughs> That's what I thought happened. I but, what, but, but what you are saying is kind of true, which is that the Arab-Israeli uh, vote bank helped that process. Ah. What happened? Tell me everything. Yeah, and, and, what and, did, and, and how about this? Bibi Netanyahu is now uh, pulling off a Trump. He's saying, this is a rigged situation. Yes. Total democracy in shambles. I'm not going anywhere. But, but, like, but, isn't it like, but they're kicking him out. But isn't it the kind of thing of like unbelievably radical change? We've gone from a right-wing Israeli extremist government to a right-wing government. Thank God. <laughs> isn't that just what's happening? Pretty much, pretty much. I think... <laughs> Uh, Ned Slightly Ned yes, Yamakus. They get filter fish specials on two days a week less. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get sued by. Come on, where's the drop? Oh shit! Nah, well, that's that's fine as well. Both of them. That's Sorry. Okay. Here we are. I'm here all night. Jeez. <laughs> I told you that hat was all the qualifications you need. <laughs> so tell me everything. Well, else I think w other than these from uh, the Israeli gefilte fish chain. From the Israeli well, perspective, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu fucked up because, dude, this was a net loss for them. It exposed 
them as not being nearly as popular as they used to be uh, is because you know like back in the day and sorry i don't know if this is like kind of anti-semitic or whatever but like i don't understand what anti-semitism is anymore because i thought it was being discriminatory with jews but it's also like a lot of avoiding buzzwords but so uh, you know back in the day before social media uh they used to be able to control mainstream media really really easily Mm-hmm. So the narrative just never got to the point where people could legitimately say, no, Israel is kind of wrong. Mm. But that's not the case anymore. It's right. super fragmented. So yeah. all over social media, they were getting a hammering to the point where the in the US, they did a, a poll and 49% of the people were, pro, were for Palestine, which is insane mm. because it's the US. It's, yeah. And so basically, I think from the Israeli establishment's point of view, it was like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you are ruining all our political capital. Also, this particular situation, you could have handled better by, like, just giving those people that you were, like, um, getting those Sheikh Jarrah residents, like, uh, some houses or some shit. Like, it's just not worth it. But Netanyahu's policy was, like, muscle him, muscle him. Because it's kept him in power to this point where it was just too much. So I think even the right faction was like, all right, look, he fucked up. Let's get rid of him. Get some other right wing guy. Right, right, right. Do you think that Netanyahu will be back? He nah. was already, like, I don't think, I think if he's, he's gone, gone now, he's gone. He might be like a Trump-like figure. But he, because he used to be a thing in early 2000s as well. And then he went away and he came back. They. Oh, okay. So could, what are the odds that he could come back a third time? Could happen. I thought that they'd be really high because according to Netanyahu, that's all they've got. Really yeah, I'm there's starting to understand the faults in my source here. <laughs> there's, there's, there's plenty of other people in Israel. Um, they, they, but I don't know Why if he can come he back now. Why so long? Well, because he kind of he, he truly did what Darwin said: uh, the stronger are the ones that adapt. He was a bit of like a Malcolm Turnbull figure, where he was con- center right, moderate kind of person. He was never a lefty, but he was kind of moderate. And then he realized that no, actually, if I be really right wing. I could get elected more often. And he right. was right. And he came back with this new fervor and that kept him in power until now when I think Israel w- regrets this whole situation. They wouldn't say it, but they regret it. Domestically, how was he? I suppose Palestine is domestic. He was already on a razor thin margin. No, but in terms of what he did for Israel, do you think that they're better off or worse as a result? Of it? Dude, I'm going to say this. Like, Israelis... Israelis are fucking good. Like all of them do great things for their country. They just do bad things to the rest of the, the rest of the countries. Right. But they they they're killing it. Like Israel has really progressed, and it's not just him. It's all the others before them too mm. that have made it into like this ma- like this amazing tech- technological hub in the middle of the Middle yeah, East. Man, cures for cancer. Remember your there. landlord. I that's what happens when your power base? instead of being the mining industry sucking the thing that makes you wealthy, your power base is just stepping on uh, Palestinian kids' heads. Jesus. Shit. Get like a lot. I'd say Panthera, but like there's no point really. Well, I mean, he's out now, so. <laughs> <laughs> who's going to get us? Stop me. Wait, who's out? Yeah, no. No, but there. Even <laughs> what army? <laughs> <laughs> There is merit to that, that like, you know, when you don't have, because we just, our entire e- economy and our affluence is based on the fact that we've got this amazing treasure and we keep selling gold coins. Mm-hmm. That's what we do, right? That's our economy. Keep that's not, surprises. that's not Israel's economy. Yeah. So they had to learn a way to figure shit out. But I suppose what I'm saying is that their invisible government would have an interest in them advancing. Yeah, Whereas yeah. our invisible government <coughs> has an interest <coughs> in keeping us crocodile Dundee. Mm. Yeah, mm. it's probably yeah. yeah it's definitely, there's yeah. there's merits to that too. Yeah, sure. Yeah, kind of sad, isn't it? That really, if you are afforded the opportunity, virtually anyone can make your country better. It's hard. Mm. Like they are, they are very uh, <laughs> these Jews. You know, they're, they're very smart. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's a joke. That's a joke. Damn. 
<laughs> but but you said that an insult. Uh, yeah, I suppose. I suppose a lot of commentators on ESPN have been outed for saying exactly the same thing you just did. Yeah, and I, I, I would Pakistan. be outed too. Uh, you watch it, but you're like water. I, I, Pakistan, <laughs> you like when I when I was in it's Pakistan, the only dude, way you could get cancelled. Yeah, yeah. Israel is like super. Like I remember when I was growing up in Pakistan, I was watching this TV show, and this morning show host comes on, and she's like. We figured out why the Jews are really smart. It's because they eat a lot of fish. Hey, I don't think that there's anything. She, she might be right. Not big fish. Japanese eat a lot of a lot fish. Of Look at them go. Yeah, and they're also a very mercury, smart. A lot of mercury in big fish, though. Uh, they eat small fish. This is very, very racy, and I'm going to avoid We're talking this. about fish. Yeah. <laughs> This is not what fish hey, fingers. Look, it's triggering fish me fingers? as an avid Aquarius, but other than ah. that, <laughs> <laughs> and a big fish advocate, <laughs> yeah, no. he eats heaps of salmon. Uh, you yeah. know what we found out? Isn't this so indicative of both of our personalities? If a fish is alive, I know everything about it. Hmm. If a fish is at a market, Miss Love knows everything about it. As soon it. as it's going, bah, I'm just like, yeah, hey. as, as soon as it's no longer got a head, as soon as it's a fish. <laughs> I remember my dad once telling me I was like, "Hey, hey!" When I was a kid, I was like, "Hey, dad, um, why do why do people say that Jews are smarter than us?" And he was like, "Well, it kind of is true." I was like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "Well, look at the Nobel prizes; they've won hundreds. Mm. We've won three. You <laughs> and, won three and two yeah. are in Pakistan. Go. No, not Pakistan. I'm talking about all Muslims oh, in this. Right, Holy right. shit! And two were just left over. Some guy just went." We yeah. have won one, and we have disowned the man who's won that oh, too, because he's from a slightly different sect to the rest of the Muslims. Yeah. True story. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh, uh, maybe that's why you didn't win so many. Yeah, and <laughs> and they are What's one the tenth of our population, even lower, and they've won way more. Yeah. Whatever they're doing, their education, it's working. Something is working. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not just you know. It's not just fish, I'm guessing, but like <laughs> maybe it is. You guys don't eat any. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think like the I don't think based purely on diets, yeah. Pakistan's Mark- fucking losing. I mean, you guys yeah. said that from true, my understanding, true. from my understanding from the from you guys retelling tales of your visits to your your uh you know hometown Rupert, motherland. Uh, when when you asked for vegetables, they asked if you were homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny. Yeah, okay, so but, we're, uh, well, I think, I think we're on to something here. If you eat fish and vegetables, you're smart. If you eat exclusively mutton. But that's every, that's, that's, that's uh, common you sense. Of both worlds. Your mutton. food is a combination of Indian and American cuisine <laughs> slapped into one. What, what, what was the best thing you had then? What was the worst? Was the worst the deep fried? The best gonna... thing for Ali was... I'm, I can't describe it any other way. It was just the fattiest burger patty I've ever seen in my the life. It was the one. size of your head, Miss Love. Maybe even mine. Mine's probably the biggest here. It was the size of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget, and it was laced with bone marrow. <laughs> wow. Laced with bone marrow. That was its seasoning. Mm. Cooked in That's animal good. fat. Fuck. And I'll, uh, two and I were dying <laughs> eating it. I, I'm pretty sure that's the reason that my heart beats a regular. Ah, it wasn't the coffee. It was Couldn't that? even handle it. Yeah. Fuck. And Ali looks at us while both of us are sitting there on the verge of throwing up. And he's like, something to matter? <laughs> you're, you're, you're not going to finish that, are you? He just goes in for it. What's it called in Huduru? Uh, you'd actually like it. It's called. What's it in Hudus? What is it? Chapli Kebab. Charlie Chaplin's favorite. Dude, that's fucking <laughs> mad. Of course, when Chaplin visited Pakistan in the 60s, that's what he wanted. He said, yeah, g'day, 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 Chaplin g'day, never g'day. visited. What do you want? Every kind of meat rolled into one with animal fat. And they're like, okay. And bone well, marrow. a truly borderless man because he can't talk and has to communicate everything through sign language. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> so that was your favorite. Ah, bone marrow but, burger. But you guys <laughs> did eat fish. You went to a bloody fish Yeah, farm. we had trout. That's true, but deep like, fried trout. Are oh, they deep fried <laughs> with Coke? Yep. Okay. So okay. The only drink available there. No. Okay. No Pepsi. Oh, of course, my <laughs> mistake. The old rivals. Don't fuck those two up. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't think Coke's available in Pakistan. Yeah, in select stores. Did yeah. you try the green it's so one? so old it still has pictures of pink on the front of it. <laughs> <laughs> Take me back to that time. Uh, did you did you drink the green Pepsi? What's it called again? Pac- Packy Cola. I drank it on this podcast and yeah. I learned not to drink it in Pakistan. Right. <laughs> why do people hate it? It's actually not bad. I didn't hate it. I just didn't like it. It's, can, I, you, can you bring right. more? Can you bring more? Can we do it again? Well, if you're going to pay it out, my well, feelings get hurt. Well, I, I did, not, did I pay it out last time? Yes, yes you, you did. did. <laughs> more so than I did. My bad. You really hated it. Well, it must Which now explains weird. why you want to have it again. Yeah. That That's your nature psychology. as well. Yeah. I always want to go works. back again. I'm like, uh, two or three times before I decide I don't like something, you know? Yeah. It's Very admirable. safe. Um, yeah, look, conclusive fish... I mean, Tony Robbins eats a lot of fish. He also has mercury that is six <laughs> times what a normal human being That's has. That's because in their he body. ate the big fish. He didn't know. He was like, "Smell fish? They're called trash fish. I don't eat that. I eat swordfish." Uh huh. Now you have mercury poisoning. It was worth it. <laughs> <I know>. So good. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? He probably has more mercury in his body than nineteen hundreds aristocrats with those top hats that were just laced in mercury. Oh, my God. And he's still alive at a 60-year-old man yelling at me in seminars that I'm not doing enough star jumps. Jesus. Amazing. You can't kill him. Hey, you got some. Uh, you got a poll that you'll be interested in. Catch. Oh. Oh, what is it? Next. Who sucks more? <laughs> Geordie's. All right, all right. Uh, next guest. Benny's. Next Should class of Geordie's guest. Paul Keating, Barnaby Joyce, or Adam Bant. Look, I would love Paul Keating as much as the next man, but Do let's it. be honest, Paul Keating probably hates me more than Barnaby Joyce. <laughs> Unless so I think it'll be Barnaby. The next man is Bob Hawke. You know what else I've noticed about myself? Bob. Whenever I'm with somebody and interviewing them, I can't do a hard interview. I'm not that kind of guy. No, that's not true. You can't. I'm a Tonight Show yeah, host. Everyone knows. Right, 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 that's you know, true. Like that's I, true I, every that's time true. I'm ever with someone and I feel the situation getting uncomfortable. I probably unconsciously make the situation uncomfortable as proven in all of my uh, interviews, but I don't try to do it. Right. And so if I was there with Barnaby, I'd just be like, yeah, so have you ever thought about sunscreen, mate? Okay, that's the tough question. You want. <laughs> all right, uh, how's you look, your family? Everyone knows Jordan's a bit <laughs> of a softy. <laughs> that's your perception. Damn. No, it's just, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's just, I, I've got that personality where I hate feeling that someone else is uncomfortable in reality. Yeah, dude, and, and, and rightly so. Like, uh, there's, a, there's yeah. a few people that do the whole antagonistic thing. Not everyone has to do it. Yeah, it's not really I wish I had fun. it. I really do wish I had it, but I really have noticed this about myself when people are always saying, Geordie's is a true journalist. Dude, I'm in the same way that, Jay Leno was a <laughs> front journalist. No, but you've got no yeah. problem r- walking up to like members of the establishment with like prop hands. Yes, because it's a joke at that point. I can be harsh to someone if it's kind of laced with this is all a gag. If it's a, if it's a, if it's a but skit. Yeah, I think I've just got the, my instinct gag. of just being trained as a comedian by myself for the last 10 years. I actually feel uncomfortable in a situation that isn't jokey now. Mm. Right. Just like right now. Just because yeah, 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 jittering. <laughs> like this podcast. Just because, just because uh, you've you've immersed yourself in that sort of culture, that psychology for so long. So if someone's just sort of like And also yeah, and yeah, also right. when everything anything's ever serious for longer than three seconds, there's just that nineteen yeah, twenties voice of being like, You're losing them, take out the flap and dicky. Oh, you don't have one. You got a t shirt from Tamar. <laughs> just take it off. Anything you can. Anything for a laugh. You're just a comedian that's stuck in a political world. Yeah, it's true. It's really look. No, but you uh, do that, like that, but you do also have the ability to like look at the camera and being like, "There, look, look what they're doing to my friend. This thing that affects him is is really affecting you. This is the system. Is this is our system's corrupt? It's fucking. They can line their pockets. You can do that too. Yeah, that's my inner monologue, I suppose. Right. But that's the difference between dialogue and monologue, I suppose. Right. Is that I'm grasping here. Look, all I'm saying is whenever I'm around somebody else, I try to make the situation jokey. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And as soon as it's not jokey, I'm out. Right. I, I want to get out of there as quickly as possible. That's not healthy. 
No, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, well, dude, this is what I'm, you're a healthy man <laughs> in every way except actual health. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying to help you here. I'm trying to help you. I want you to be uh, happy and healthy. Yeah, look, if you want tips on how to be emotionally healthy, you ask that man. It's right about there. all I got going for me. But like that, you know, you should you should feel comfortable to sit in like uncomfortable situations no not necessarily you should be able to stand or you should it's good i, I feel like you should be able to sort of stand be in a situation where there's just you know nothing happening like silence and then you can just kind of be like down with it and i not, can do that you can do that yeah well then you're in fine fact, that's most of our interactions but then you're good you're talking to me and then you're not listening it and saying that's, that's true. nice that's true but that's that's I'm not saying you should ignore people. Uh-huh. In, in I'm saying, me in particular. I'm saying I do need these lessons. Yeah, yeah, okay. You don't ignore them. Like, you need them. lessons on electricity. I yes. need electricity. Oh, I'm doing fine with the electricity, thank you, but personally. <laughs> but I, I think, yeah, you, there's a difference between just being in your own world and being like, hmm, tax reform and ignoring someone and rather than just kind of being in the moment, present, and not feeling the need to impress anyone without a fake hand. hey miss no, no, love to impress anyone you don't have to bother sh- sorry need to interrupt this miss love you just got a message on hinge <laughs> check it out what does it say check you don't have it. to read it out okay. i don't care how filthy it is ha ha nice nice one. penis ah uh, right okay well who's telling the truth here i'm hey. gonna say it's Ali. i am you can't send okay, photos well, on hinge what what's what's the what's the deal with this one uh yeah, well, tune into the up late pod and we'll... Uh, <laughs> All right, okay, last point. Did you guys check this out? But wait, was my psychology uh, yeah, analysis yeah. good? You're going to be no, sorted, you're right? right. I think that if I'm ever going to do a hard-hitting interview, I will need to just wear the nappy. No, you fuck. I'm saying when you're... Nothing t- else. I'm saying... Okay, no, this is my... This is my... This is my... This is my. This is what I put to you. If you meet another fan, you're not allowed to feign interest in the least. If they're genuinely interesting, let's, let's be no, honest, they that's probably won't be. horrible you advice. Can't be. And then, no, it's not. You Dude, have to he be hates cu- like 99.9% of the population. No, but you know, It'll just be, be a meeting where he's like, you're a fucking psycho. No, Next one, a, you look no, hideous. No, don't be a cunt. Okay. Just don't be a cunt. Just be, just a, be cunt. a bu- <laughs> Well, then just turn that off and just try to sci- just try to channel a tiny bit of Buddha and be like, you're a being. I am a being. You probably like eating small uh, fish like me. Yes, that's that. I don't need to interject with anything. You really I'm just don't understand nod. how my head works, Miss. I'm trying to change it. I understand it. the merits of Buddhism, but I am not a practicing Buddhist. Time I can't to start. do it. You have to start. Why? Oh, it'd be amazing if I could shut that voice off. Do but it. The reason that you're able to do it. We discussed this before. Because I don't have you a don't voice. You don't have any to dialogue. <laughs> I don't have a voice. <laughs> Which yeah. is bizarre. Because I thought insane. everyone did. Yeah, no, I don't. You don't think... Truly yeah, I think, man. I think I just don't have inner dialogue. My thoughts are like dreams whooshing around. They're like, there's one. Oh, it's gone. There's one. Oh, it's Dude, gone. he's a superhuman. <laughs> or is he not a human? Yeah, one or the other. <laughs> one that's how dogs human. think. But you would be happier if you didn't have to, you know, put on a show. Yes, I would. So just I'm read so the book tired. you gave so me. Very tired. Read the what? book that I borrowed from you. That's like Buddhism for. The idiot guy. Just read that again. I've read books that aren't Buddhism. Well, then what are you it's doing God. wrong? I'm just not a present man. How are we going to change I think him? it's just... Look, He's a future man. And the other thing is, my entire day is sitting around synthesizing your, complicated your information environment and turning it into jokes. Your That's envi- the yeah. pattern your, of my life. Your environment isn't in- conducive to you being a present person. That's fair. No. And you've actually... Uh, you've actually and I think uh, that's just or, what happens to writers. Well, writers aren't present. Mm, that's true, but you've, you've orchestrated your life to... Are you supposed to be a writer too? Exactly. I'm not a writer. <laughs> you have well, orchestrated... You know, a lot of his notes are t- 25 t- minutes to 37 minutes. And then you see the joke that he's included, and it's just this: "Say ha ha." <laughs> <laughs> Beats his stuff. <laughs> it does. It definitely uh, does. It just doesn't translate to camera. But I feel like you, <laughs> you're not reading More it right. You're not doing it well <laughs> enough. Uh, but you, uh, you probably, you probably like bolstered your environment to like, to like, you know, to to to, to, to uh, sorry. You, you've you've na- navigated your environment to bolster up the situation, so it's just like you've you've created the job that's just like this job requires you 
to not be present. And in fact, you don't have to be present. Now that you can afford not to be, you, the present doesn't have to even exist. Yeah, you're right. But that's I'll tell you what, the only time I actually really am present. The sauna. This podcast. Oh. Sauna. Yeah, yeah you can't not be present there. That's just like being in Fiji <laughs> after climate change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pod. Yeah, the podcast is. Actually, you're right. But that's. that's he's a real entertainer because the only time he's present is just like, is this thing on? Okay, let's do this shit. Netanyahu's out. You know, like you have to do that kind of. Tell you what, I am really addicted to it. And it's not, I, I was talking about this in my edit the other but day. But you should do it in real saying, life too, Do you dummy. have an urge to be famous? And I said, no, I've got an urge to perform. But you kind of need to be famous to perform. Yeah, because you want people to see you. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah, it's of course. It's a very sad feeling. No, it's the fact. Um, you know, performing to two hippies <laughs> and one bikey yelling at you. Take which it from I, me. I've done a lot of those. Take it from me. <laughs> That's still your life. No, it? it's not, but I've done that. <laughs> he is, is the, w- the one of the two hippies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Be more present, dude. It's better for your health. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that's what I'm saying. I think I'm just addicted to the performance lifestyle. And so if I'm sitting there... Because, look, I suppose there's an element of performance to doing a you know, sit down, hard hitting questions, welcome to BBC. Yeah, it's not talking to your mum. But it's not the performance that I'm conditioned to. Yeah. It's night show Is is that another word for an adrenaline junkie? Well, that is my version of adrenaline. Adrenaline. My version of jumping out of a plane. Of course it's adrenaline. No, but like, but performing is adrenaline. Isn't that like, I remember reading about this somewhere that child soldiers, when you rehabilitate them, all they want to do is (laughs) go back to fight wars. Can I just read this? That's me. Can I just read this? Replace that with guns with jokes. Grub dog. Friendly Geordies just needs to sub to Jordan Shanks on YouTube. (laughs) Dude, that is kind of true though. It's just like reading all this shit and then like, (laughs) good call. He practices it. In fact, Jordan's good generally, and he does practice what he preaches. But like, I just can't imagine having to be on. Except all the time. for so the fact tired. that he votes liberal every time. <laughs> like, surely yeah, it's tiring. I practice the Jordan Shanks teachings, not the friendly Jordan's <laughs> teachings. Yeah. All right. Well, I couldn't do it. We've man. dissected enough. One last thing, because this is. Did you guys hear about this? The AFP and FBI collaborated on the biggest cr- organized crime bust in history. And they they're saying finally got Al Capone <laughs> they, they, from his grave. No, they uh, they basically what they did was um, apparently over a couple of bees in 2018. Yeah, they uh, came up with this app, which That's was a supposed to be an encrypted app, and but like the police could monitor everything, and so they released that app, or they I guess somehow convinced some of the criminals to start using it. And then they used all of that information to simultaneously bust over a hundred criminals in not just in Australia, but like worldwide. They were busts in the US, in Europe. How? What, so it's like hinge for crims. Cringe. Pretty much. Well, you know how like uh, you uh, some people use We uh, no, not WeChat. That's the Chinese one. Um, hinge. No, the one for <laughs> Ask Jeeves. <laughs> no, the one that's for drugs. Which one's Yahoo. that? Oh, the dark web shit. Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> uh, ask Jeeves. No, there's an app. What's the app called? Oh, Ask Jeeves uh, app. Road? Ask Jeeves and <laughs> neither of those. <laughs> Fuck, it's... Um, ask, ask app, the Ask app. Is it Fiverr? No, no, no. It's the Silk it's Road. It's not Fiverr. No, no. I think it's Silk Road. I think it is Silk Road, No, dude. no, it's something else. Okay, give, tell me in the comments, which is the, uh, is the, the pizza drug app? Disordered? People that use drugs. Oh, there is a name for it. Yeah, what is oh, it? That's I'm right. I'm sure there is. Thank you, N. Delmo Wicker. That's what it's called. Uh, so they made a like a yeah, that's not a drug app, app. I've got whip wicker. It's just untraceable. Dude, it's you. It's, it's being used for drugs. No, I don't use it for drugs. I use it for other things. <laughs> like what? <laughs> it's just wickers use. It's just detects for. It's like detects police on your thing. What? It detects where there's cops are. When you're, well, when the you're, cops no, 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 are. No, 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 no. It's a. It's a. It's an undetectable message communication system. So you can be like. I would imagine that would be helpful if you're trying to trace. Exactly. So they just. Tapped into it, dude. Thing. You told me about it. Remember when one time this in this hypothetical situation, I wanted something, and, and I you said, said go on it. and you said go, go on this app I and hit it. up this person, yeah. and they've just busted a whole bunch of people for it. Not for that app, but it was some other app that basically the police 
Oh, Phew, started I thought it, themselves. That was wicker. I'll keep using Dude, it. Dude, I, I, I freaked out a little bit too. I, I don't <laughs> think. Let's hope it's not Thank wicker. God. No, no it's, it's something else. But they okay. arrested, which kind of makes me sad because that I know sad. this is a weird opinion to have, but like, Beach I like one. mafia movies and I'm always on the mafia side. We could have got everything. Well, that's the whole point of them, isn't it? What? They're trying to show it from their perspective, aren't they? Wait, who's trying to show it from their perspective? It's a mafia film. No, it's it's not a film, but I'm saying, imagine how many mafia films could have been made if they didn't do this bust and arrested all the mafia guys. But they did arrest Or they would be boring. What, I don't think so. Showing, there's no difference between a mafia film and YouTube than just reacting to messages. <laughs> no, do like, do? don't you? Aren't you guys interested in like? Uh, I, I always like watching shit from. I like that the, crime the Calabrian shit. mafia I stories love, from I, like yeah. '80s Australia. Those those stories are mad. I it like was more, always about weed. I like do you more like the mafia. A little bit. I mean, I, I'm not saying that you go, be, but it's their lives are interesting, man. Like, have you seen that American? Have you seen American Gangster? You have to convince me, yeah. When Denzel shit. is just sitting there and he's like, "Let me, guys, I, I know, just, uh, I'm just, I'm just need to take care of the situation." Goes outside, shoots a guy in the head, and comes back, and he's like, "So what were we were talking about? That's fucked because he just killed someone." But all I could think at that point was, "Baus, <laughs> dude, I've watched." Uh, well, it is. I've watched. Goodfellas many times. Exactly. On the same page. But what, I wait, blame wait. Scorsese. But wait, your point is, it's a, it's a bummer they caught all these all these uh, mafiosos because they could have kept doing their crime syndicates and one day they could have gotten busted and they could have had biopics made about them. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Fair. He fair. gets me. Fair. This man gets me. I, I, right. Fair. Right. fair. Right. I agree right. with right. you. Right. Right. <laughs> but, but now that we've got all of these people in prison... Maybe some people can go in, ask them their stories, and we can get more yeah, biopics made now, from that. But now we're just going to get bullshit Netflix uh, crime things where it's like, so, do you admit that you killed him? I ain't saying I killed him. Did you? Will you admit you stabbed him? Yeah, I stabbed him. You know, it's just like, oh, it's so boring. I hate that shit. And they're piecing things together. Like, Giovanni, poor choice of name. <laughs> but, you know, like sort of like uh, Luciano's family... Lived on 53rd. The Sanchonellis lived on 54th. They used to switch uh, places every drunk run. And they, did you know that they also used to, they grew up together and they got cannoli from the same place. Tune in next week for the, <laughs> for the next riveting chapter. And of you these. just know the director is smoking a vape. <laughs> mm. All right. That's yeah, not as you're good right. as like the Irishman or some shit, you know? Yeah, but is. Is the organized crime syndicate in Australia that bad? Uh, it's boring. I would, yeah. It, well, I don't know about that. Yeah, I, I don't so. know what it's like now, but Underbelly was pretty damn popular. Mm. I th- maybe it's just because that's the only. That's shows the one that's that uh, nine makes. That, that's that the one was, about like uh, Kyle Sandland's best mate, right? <laughs> one of them. Yeah. Oh, really? True yeah. story. And something else that I can't talk about either, but I'll tell you off. I might even tell you on up late. So there's another sign up, become a patron. Speaking of which, give us some more money. Inflation's killing us. I don't know if we can even uh, monitor this in any way, but if we get 20 new Patreons, he's wearing wearing a nappy. nappy. But we can't monitor it. We we don't know how to. All right, all right. I'll monitor it. Nappy next time. It doesn't matter. (laughs) I'll monitor it. It goes down. Uh, No, don't say that. Christ. Um, Look. You know you want to. That's where the juice comes. And then we need juice to put in these. You see how it goes? It's cyclical. Yeah. Spoken like a true Buddhist. Okay, how about this? Someone saying hot tub tr- stream then. You give us, I'll check. Hot tub? Hot tub. You know We've the whole Twitch tub. thing? Spa. Fuck. Yeah, we can do it with bar salts and everything. Look, I know that If I'm- we get 50 patrons, please, <laughs> then we will do a hot tub stream. Yeah, and if we get a hundred patrons, we will do it naked. And if we and get one that naked is anyway, a true feat because it is a public hot tub. Shit! What? Yeah, dude, <laughs> I just realized that it'll be fucked. Just an old Chinese man nestling right up to us live, and we're like, "You're on TV." I'm like, "Whatever, dude." <laughs> yeah, he won't care. We'll be uncomfortable because he's not getting naked. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see what it looks like when you're 60. Ah! Well, we got to end the pod at some point now. On that note, it's been fun. 
It's great. been great. We've it had, has been great. That just flew by. That did fly We've by. We've had the time of our lives. We learned about Netanyahu. Uh, forget the rest. Electricity. Ohm's Law. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we learned that Miss Love knows how to work that sound effect machine like a king. Yeah. Really. Like you said, the hat, man. It's still yeah. on. Yeah. No, no, I'm just and rocking it's the same out. music. Is this just to remind you of last episode where two said, Mishla, you've got yeah, the Yeah, I loved that. And it's just like, re- like I said, replay that endlessly in my head. Then, uh, yeah, Mom, I made it. I did it, Mom. I'm a success. I played Splendor once and then everyone forgot about me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't forget about you. Thanks, man. Thanks so much, Also, I didn't man. even know that you played Splendor. Splendor. You guys, isn't it? No, I didn't it's play Splendor. It's just like, coming up next, The Who. Not the band, just <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> That's the Australian cycle of music. We did Splendor. Oh, Triple J dropped us. Well, now we to work in a guitar training. shop. <laughs> hey. See you next week. Hey, miss, uh, hit guys. the last button, and that's the end of it. All right, let's play us out again. (laughs) Join up on Patreon, you sheepskates. Love you all. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks.